What's up, guys? Happy Friday. Welcome to Tales from the Pythian. It's the day after Baldur's Day, but for us, it's like Baldur's Day, and it is the first oh. Baldur's Gate 3 stream, and we are freaking excited. Um, I don't think we could be any more excited. It's I'm excited. Friday the Fun Teeth. Friday the Fun Teeth. That's right. Uh, so I'm Greg. I've got Hugh and Silver Quick with me. Jose is running a little bit behind, unfortunately. So we're gonna we're gonna kill a little bit of time and give him just a couple more minutes. He wasn't far out. I think about ten minutes out or twenty minutes out about ten minutes ago. So we're gonna give him just a few more minutes, but it's gonna be a cool uh, ten minutes because we're gonna walk down nostalgia lane for you just a little bit here. Our good, uh-huh. our good buddy Hugh here is going to do a little show and tell. So we're about to play Baldur's Gate 3, and the year is 2023. Right? 2023. Baldur's Gate came out in, what year was that? 1998? 97? Right around there. Yep. 97, 98. Uh. What did it look like when it came out in 1997, 1998? Do you guys remember? Yeah, I do. Uh, I kind of do. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I was actually looking for. <laughs> I was looking on the inside cover of the book here. So yeah, uh, just to prove that we're not like Johnny Come Latelys. Uh, well, when Baldur's Gate three came out and you bought it, when Baldur's Gate came out, you got this. Uh, I actually, this is uncanny. I'm, I moved recently. And I knew I had some of this stuff, but I found it all on the move. And this was actually, back in the day, it was six discs. And so you would go home and you would put in disc number one. A few minutes later, it would be like, ah, insert disc number two, disc number three. And while you were playing, you would do the same thing. And this is my original copy of Baldur's Gate. With the quick reference, uh, this was like the manual... The play reference with uh, third level cleric spells, second level, all the icons and everything, your hotkeys and all your... uh, And then, of course, this was the guide, and it was almost written as if you had never played Baldur's and Gate, Dungeons and Dragons, like, what is a fighter? What is a cleric? Like, a whole... It was basically like a player's handbook and game reference all in one, basically. So that was Baldur's Gate. Uh, that was the original Baldur's Gate, six discs. Then they came out, of course, with an expansion, Tales of the Sword Coast, and it had a book and a quick reference guide. <laughs> and then they came out with uh, Icewind Dale, and Icewind Dale, then an expansion, uh, Icewind Dale, Heart of Winter, uh, it had, of course, big old books and a cloth map. Yep. I don't, I'm pretty sure Baldur's Gate did not come with a cloth map, but Icewind Dale did. That did. Mm-hmm. And I still have that bad boy. And <laughs> these wow. are kids, these are saves. So back in the day, before this is the equivalent of your thumb drive. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, and this actually says Iceland Dale saves, and it's got my characters on there. And I specifically remember in Iceland Dale finding a longsword that the image was like a normal longsword, and you literally had to like examine it, and the description was like two pages long, and it was one of the greatest magic weapons I've ever found. Like. Basically, the three generations of clerics who were like grandfathers, son, and father and son spent their lives enchanting this weapon, and it was like a plus seven weapon that was only usable by paladins. Oh. Uh, and uh, I found it, and I almost threw it away because it again, it looked like a normal longsword. You had to like be, and of course, in Ice when in Baldur's Gate, when I initially played it, I played a paladin. And then when Icewind Dale came, I was like, yeah, I don't want to do a paladin. And I found that weapon for paladin. <laughs> oh, go figure, huh? So now we're going full circle and we're going to Baldur's Gate 3. And uh, spoiler, I'm playing a paladin. But after that, it was never Winter Nights, kids. Uh, after that, it was never Winter Nights. 
and it had a bunch of discs too. It was stupid. It actually oh, uh, you got yours for that too. <laughs> Never Winter Nights. Oh, oh, look at this. It's five discs, and I think when it came out, it was three discs. And then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this says installation disc one, installation disc two, play disc, and then this says expansion pack. Uh, oh, and so it was shadows, hor- shadows of Under and Tide, and hordes of the Underdark. Those okay. were the expansions to Neverwinter Nights. And this was the guide. And then here were the books for the expansions. So yeah, uh, this ain't our first radio. <laughs> Is definitely not our first. Not really radio. Not. We're not uh, fucking around here, kids. Show, show the other, show show that Baldur's Gate one again. Do it. Just do it. Well, the the biggest irony here is that uh, you guys know me from Celasta, but I was the very first module, um, the very first Hall of Fame module designer in Neverwinter Nights as well. Same with Neverwinter Nights too. I was literally the first one ever inducted into the Hall of Fame for that. That was back during the uh, back during the uh, uh, launch of that game. Whoa. Throw them on the floor. Oh. <laughs> after right. after forty years, after yeah. forty years, the room. The <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah kids, man. to think. Oh my God, the amount of times that I've moved, and to think that I still have these. Uh, yeah. It just highlights that there's a special place in my heart for this stuff. And uh, to say that I'm a little excited today, number one, the fact to think that we get to play this game, uh, I feel like I've waited. Uh, I bought this computer to play this game in early access, just to do it better. And uh, and here we are today, thinking that I get to play with some of my favorite gamers on the planet. Man, what a bonus! <laughs> what a bonus! Just the fact I, I would be excited to play it single player, and to think that I get to play with you guys. You want to know what I remember about Baldur's Gate 1? You said, how did it look back then? I remember it. I do remember it being semi-grainy. Because back then, the best resolution we could get was just 800 by 600 on any given computer screen. And there were those big honking, you know, tube screens that looked like a big old-fashioned TV type. And so, you know, you'd sit there and you'd be... And it looked good for the time, but I can remember EverQuest actually... Uh, looking sharper even though the models were horrid because it was all blocky and stuff but i do remember that playing baldur's gate in the original 800 by 600 resolution way the hell back when and that's it, literally what it looked like it, it kind of really made minecraft look smooth yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <it did. laughs> uh, but you know it's funny like even though that's what we were taking in, like I remember going back and playing like Tomb Raider re- remastered, and they had like this is what the original pictures looked like, and this is what the remasters looked like, and I and I was looking at it going, it never looked that bad. Tomb Raider was always beautiful, like yeah, it was it gorgeous. Like it, was really it was the nice. best of the best at the time. Like <laughs> yeah, it always looked like the one on the right. It never looked like the one on the left. That's not how I remembered it. Yeah, that sounds about right. I, I mean, I hate to say it, but I could. It's like it seemed so much better back then. But then, then you look at it nowadays and go, "Oh my god!" Wow, well, that's, really? a, that's a great. That's one of the great things about a role playing game. It, part of it was your mind's eye. Like you knew yep. these are the limitations of the computer, but you were picturing a hero, and a heroic, epic yep. adventure. Yeah, one hundred percent. Almost a Mandela effect. Matter of fact, mm-hmm. uh, I'll tell one last anecdotal story before uh, before we get rolling, and hopefully that'll be enough time for Jose to be rolling in. But I remember when Hugh first told me about Baldur's Gate, the original one, and I was like, uh, I was like, nah, nope, no, I'm not. No, you don't play D and D on the computer. Shooter. No, 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 no. no. Nah, I play no. on the at the table with friends. Yeah, straight, straight snob, straight. <laughs> straight snob and then um and then i saw some more stuff on her like i've been to his house and he showed it to me and i was like oh that's cool and i remember i had been at the harris teeter which is a grocery store over on uh it was the one over on like poplar tent or over in that area it was one of them i don't know i was leaving and they were for sale in like a little 
cardboard stand end of the aisle kiosk or so or yeah display yeah yeah, yep. yeah. like a freaking end cap. video game end cap end display cap in a grocery yeah. store and i was like Fuck, i'm gonna all right i'm gonna i'm gonna buy it, gonna buy it. dude so i dude, bought it I re- in a fucking grocery store <laughs> i remember greg i remember greg calling me up and being like what are you doing and he was like go to your computer and hit this and hit this and type in that and the next thing you know my computer was like <laughs> He's like, I was like, oh, it's going crazy. And he's like, yeah, our computers are talking. And the next thing you know, we were playing. The old, the old dial-up modem. I felt like Matthew Broderick in War Games. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. We've been playing uh, We've been playing online since 98. That's crazy to think about, isn't it? That's a long time. We won't oh say God. how old we were then. Uh, but younger than we are now, I guess. <laughs> well, a lot younger. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna launch this thing, and hopefully, it's gonna play the uh, the intro for you guys, and that might give uh, that might give Jose just a little bit more time. If it does play the intro, I'm gonna mute out our sound so we don't interrupt it. And um, yeah, so here goes launch time. Launch time. You guys ready? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Hate this part. Ugh. You know he took special pleasure in putting one and I'll get the Yankees out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, really. Yeah, I, I still get goosebumps. I still get goosebumps. Um, I'm not gonna reset the tutorials. You guys okay with that? Yep. You, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing the same. Uh, and I will share. Yep, if you guys yeah. both want to go ahead and share your screens up, I'm going to switch us over to, I'm going to turn our screens off right here and switch us over to the character creation scene. Here we go. All Bingo. right. And then we're going to be looking at Hugh's screen first, and we're going to watch Hugh make his character, and he's going to talk us through it. Let me know when you're all good to go. Good to go, brother. You're on. You're live. Cool, cool. So custom origin. We're definitely gonna do custom. Uh let's see. We might as well go ahead and jump to body type because we know we're gonna be doing a big dude. And we're gonna go ahead and do a tiefling. And I guess now's as good a time as any to edit the appearance, huh? So Okay, I think I'm doing voice three. And skin, we're gonna try and do something a little more human-ish. Or a little 
closer to Yep, no scars. Maturity, meh. He's young. Uh, genitals. I'm gonna go ahead and go into battle with a penis. Uh, I'm not gonna hit hide clothes. Uh, we'll just leave it to the imagination, but we'll officially know that there is a penis under his garments. I would consider doing a vulva, but the upkeep on one of those things is just outrageous, uh, especially in the medieval period. Uh... <laughs> There's no aisle at the grocery store dedicated to the maintenance of, uh, no eyes. This is, we can hit all eye colors. Boy, there's the, look at the demon eyes, man. Those are sick with the blackness. But you know what? I think I like that. Just black eyes. Cause it's like you have the white around the eyes, but the black, it's a little unnatural, but a little natural at the same time. And let's see, no makeup, air, I would imagine with the horns in the front of your head, you would have something of a more slicked back hairstyle rather than probably possibly since you got the horns on your forehead, it's going to get in the way of bangs and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. We can actually customize our horn. And horn. Oh, let's see. The base black and the tip maybe reddish. Oh, kind of like that. I like it. All right. <laughs> let's uh, let's back out of there. Oh, cool. cool. <laughs> Mullet and horns. <laughs> Last, we're gonna do. We're gonna do a paladin, and we're gonna do an oath of vengeance paladin. <clears throat> and background, probably gonna go soldier. I guess. I think it's soldier or acolyte. Yep, this is looking good. Abilities. We're going to be a little bit of a risk taker here. We're going to go Dex 10, Wisdom and Intelligence 8, Charisma 16, and we're going to go Strength 17, Dex 10, Constitution 14, Intelligence and Wisdom 8, and Charisma 16. Ooh. So overall, I am going to be a Paladin Sorcerer. So the idea here is that I'm going to pro I'm, I've played paladins. What you want to do is smite. Mm. What you want to do is smite more. Uh, <laughs> Even more after that. <laughs> a, a tiefling gets brand, uh, searing smite and branding smite as uh, uh, Zariel tiefling abilities at level three and five. So there's more smites per day. We're going to go five levels of Paladin and probably seven levels of Sorcerer. Could end up anywhere from eight to four. Originally, I thought eight, four for the three feet. Uh, yeah, eight levels of... got him, man. He's in for it. He's like, yeah, smite, smite, smite. <laughs> and then, so the whole idea is if, if you go Paladin, Sorcerer, and you go like five levels of Paladin, seven levels of Sorcerer. Even if you do eight levels of Paladin, four levels of Sorcerer, you'll have more spell slots per day. You'll be a multi-level caster. You'll have more spell slots than a 12th level Paladin would. You'll have sorcery points, which you can spend to can restore spell slots to smite more. <laughs> so that's what we're trying to do. Smite, smite, smite. Once bitten. <laughs> Twice smite. Yeah, whatever. Some witty... <laughs> Saying that I don't Someone have the intelligence or wisdom point. to say, yeah, <laughs> but there's something there. Uh, body type. I think we're all golden. I chose a penis. We should be good. Uh, <laughs> Name. Here we go. Ozzy Mandis. Uh, we had on cap clock. Let's take that off because we're not cap. <laughs> Ozzy Mandis. Yeah, name Ozymandias. 
So now I need to pick somebody I'm sweet on. So let's go uh, yeah. with a hat. Oh no, actually it isn't somebody I'm sweet on anymore. Now it's like a guardian. But I always like this half elf. She looks like Cersei. Game of Thrones. I don't know if she's evil or good. Or Hey Greg, uh, quick note. Rogue is on, so you can invite him to the game. Oh, Message good. Cool. Yep, I'm just waiting for him to be uh, visible on uh, Steam. I don't, yeah. I don't mind some freckles uh, and girls with neck tattoos are badass. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know about them gold eyes, though. We're going to do... See, that says... All right. Oh, Larry. And that says green, but, like, that's green. This is kind of green blue, but I like it. I don't know whether it's green or blue. We're gonna go with uh, makeup. Man, nah, she can do her own makeup. I don't care. Uh, there we go. And then, come on, she's got to be a ginger. Uh, highlights, facial hair. No thanks. Uh, that should do it. Bam. Uh -huh. Bandis. Oath of Vengeance Paladin. Okay. Nice. Good to go. All right. I'm going to switch to your screen, Silver. That was interesting. Okay. All, All right. right. Popping up again. Uh -huh. All right. Well, given the characters everybody else is playing, I, of course, am going to probably pick uh, a, sword, a wizard here. So that we can maintain some uh, magical uh, flexibility here. Now, we're, of course, elf, high elf, so I can get the extra cantrip. Class, of course, is wizard we selected. All right, so my cantrips, we're going to have to get rid of mage hand, ray of frost, and poison spray, because I'm not really big big fan of those. I am going to take that Acid Splash so I can multi-target with it. I'm going to take Blade Ward here so that uh, I can actually have some defense should I need it, which is really good. It takes half damage from uh, any bludging, piercing, or stabbing attacks for like two rounds. And then I'm also going to take something else that I don't normally take here, which is Minor Illusion. So when I pop that up, it means I can distract like one of our enemies so that uh for example we might be able to get a good get the jump on them so they're looking the wrong direction all right spells wise i really like these spells but i think i wouldn't i'm gonna get rid of mage armor and i'm gonna get rid of fog cloud because generally those aren't really that great not in a well you know mage armor is okay but fog cloud not so much so you're gonna keep grease thunder wave sleep and magic missile the other one I want to take is shield, because being able to do a reaction and insta-shield yourself is actually surprisingly good in this game, and actually any 5th uh, edition game. Alright, now when it comes to the last one, I think I'm just going to take chromatic orb. And let's see, anything else here I want to swip out, swatch out? Mm, I am so considering switching out magic missile i really am because i think i can get it later so i'm gonna pull it out and i'm gonna pull in a new one that's that's new in this release of baldur's gate that was not here before it's called ice knife it's basically a knife that you throw out there and it explodes and does aoe damage uh to nearby creatures and also uh it makes the ground slippery around them so they'll slip and fall i always thought that the knife throwing thief is something that's missing from 5e like the total knife throwing specialist and ice knife made me want to do it in the magic way you know <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool spell it's just you got to get uh and you can multi-target with it well not really true it's just after the people around them in the general area and it puts an ice field down so they slip and fall in it which is pretty cool so i think i'm going to grab that Background here, actually, because of the things that you guys are probably going to take, I'm thinking we're probably going to need the intelligence guy this time around. So I'm going to some take something that automatically gives Arcana in history. 
And then uh, when we switch down here, I'm going to change those up a little bit. And I'm going to make sure we have investigation and uh, oh, insight. <laughs> nice. Wait a minute. It didn't do it. Okay, let's go back here. Should give me Arcana and History here. So when we go to our abilities and hit change, it says I have religion yeah. and medicine. Well, no, you, it, uh, it says you, if you look at the symbols on the left, you have our hand, Arcana, History, and Perception. Okay. All right. There we go. Yep. Looks like I was just reading it wrong. From background or class or race. Right. Yeah. There we go. Well, I'm going to keep Investigation and Insight because both of those are going to be important here. And then we'll confirm. All right. So now the way we're going to run our our uh, boop, we're going to run our abilities here is fairly straightforward. Okay, I'm going to drop the constitution down because I'm going to let these guys, the big strong guys be up front. So I'm just going to take a 12 here. I'm going to drop two on charisma and put two on wisdom. Boop. Two on wisdom. I'm going to put that at a 10. All right, so now I have two ability points left. I definitely want to put them in at dexterity. So now yeah, we have a 17. Uh, yeah. Non, -one, non asked, um, is there any way to get medium or heavy armor, or do you not need it? Well, in this one, no. In this game, you can't actually. There's well, no. Feats. You'd have to yeah. think. There's no background choices. You'd have to sink feats into it. Yeah. Bingo. That's or it. Go. Gold dwarf. You, Hey, Jose, I don't see yeah. Oh, what's up, Jose? Hey, welcome to the party, man. Glad you're in. Almost in. All right, so now we're going to edit our appearance. All right, now, I like this first voice, but I also like the second voice, or number three. That's what I took. <laughs> Did you take oh, number one? Yeah, yeah. I took three. You took three. All right, I'll go back to one. All right. I like this default face. I really do. So I'm going to keep that skin color, warm tone. Well, I don't think I need to change the skin color here. I'm not going to go with any scars. I am going to do something, though. I'm going to make this a slightly older elf. So we've got a little bit of uh, wrinkles here, as you can see. And he said he's a wizard's wizard. Yep, I am going wizard's wizard. Don't that need any body art. That I... elf wasn't using the oil of the lay. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with Hazel here. About that. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, You know, why don't we just go straight green? All right. You know, We're going to be that a That first green you click looked purple as hell. Yeah, like, I know. That's it's weird. all green, but it looked purple. Green <laughs> sick. Like, what? The, it is purple. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, that's not <laughs> green. Small bug here, so we'll go ahead and... You know what? Just for kicks, I think I'll stay looking like a gray elf here. All right, so then we're going to go here. And this one is... My choice is actually way the hell down here, so I just got to find it. Uh, where is it? Is that it? No, that's not it. That's it. That is actually one of my favorite hairstyles of the game. So we're going to keep that. And now we're going to change this out. We're going to make the base color a brown. And actually, I think I'm going to go a little darker than that. We're going to confirm... Highlights, I am going to make that also a brown. And I might change that in a minute. Well, depend. Graying. Now we're going to take some gray. Probably a little. Okay, what do we have here? All right, so now we're going to make our gray intensity. There we go. We're going to give us some salt and pepper. Now it looks like, yeah, now it looks like I'm going to probably have to change that highlight. So we're going to go back to our highlight here. And I think... No, that's too much. <laughs> I think. All right, so we're going to take that highlight down a little bit. No, still too much. Uh, there. There we go. We'll blend it in with, say, that. 
Eh, it looks kind of natural, but I think I could keep it a little, little darker. We could get you some just for elves. <laughs> just for elves. <laughs> 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 All right, so we want to give him a forty-ish, forty-ish look, and then that Maybe. actually looks about like what I'm going to do here. Four hundred. So, yeah, four hundred-ish. Green, yeah. He's in his actually. early 400s. Yeah. The heck? All right. You know what? There we go. We're going to give him purple eyes like uh, like a gray elf from uh, the Greyhawk campaign has. So he's got actual purple eyes here. All right. Let's relook over here, see if there's anything else. I like the voice. I like the skin tone. I like the maturity angle. Freckles don't need. Vertigo, we're good. All you right. You just have a default genitals. John says you, uh, <laughs> you don't look a day over 250. A day over 250. <laughs> good one, man. Good one. Okay. So now we're going to take the character name, and we're just going to go with my, you know, there how about that oh silver leaf i like it well that is actually do you guys remember the old basic handbook way the hell back when uh 19 circa 1978 round in there Ooh, that's more Angus's, in the red book uh, speed there oh okay well anyway one of the characters in the examples was named silver leaf so i'm going to take him as silver leaf who is the one of the very first uh, uh, basic characters. It was, uh, I think it was. I remember uh, laying in my crib and reading that uh, in '78. Yeah, in '78. Uh, now that's now that's funny. So back in the day, Greg's character was Nicholas Silverblade. Oh, really? Paladin. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And I played a cavalier. Oh, oh, wow! Yeah, that is old. That's that's uh, unearthed arcana time period. I remember that. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to look at... Well, you're going to see my type. <laughs> I didn't know where that All was right. going to end. I'm perfectly oh. happy it ended with type. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I actually like this face, but this one's not bad, too. But I think I'm going to take this one. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. No scarring, maturity. We're not going to worry about that. Um, uh, the woman, women are the best looking. Yeah, they are pretty. They are. I, yeah. I, do like them. <laughs> I cannot deny that. Okay. So now um, I'm actually probably. Oh, they already did it for me. There we go. We're going to make her look like also an authentic gray elf from the Greyhawk campaign. All right, so we're going to keep her eyes there. And she's actually going to get a little interesting makeup here because I'm going to try something here. We're going so old school with the original Baldur's Gate game, Greyhawk. What's your birthright? <laughs> oh. Yeah, really? That's right. That's another cool campaign setting from back in the day. That is. <laughs> it really is. Okay, so I think I'm going to take... Yeah, I think I might take that. That's too much. All right, just a little bit, because we want to keep that there. And we'll lighten it up a little bit. All right, bingo. And lip. Yeah, we definitely want some lip tint. Let's give her some red. Probably a bit much. There we go. Lighten it up a little bit. Metallic tint level. Oh, didn't know about that. Oh, that works. All right. I don't know much about lipstick, so I have no I, idea I what a, that means. I had a, a mental image of Jenny McCarthy with the chrome lips in basketball when they told her to suck the chrome off a of trailer hitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, you know, I have not seen that, that movie yet. I want. Where are you? Okay, not bad. Except, 
what we're going to do here, we're going to keep the silver here, though. But we're going to take... We're actually going to go over here for the base color. And then we're going to come to there for the highlight portion. Oh, that's graying. Never mind. Uh, gold. Where is it? Yeah. And then we bring it up. Alright. Do I have to do that? Is Jose That's... doing this? Are you colorblind too? <laughs> Dude, I get... hey, I'm not... hey, how close are you, buddy? You're on deck. Oh, there you are. You're in. Look at you snuck in. All right. There it is. No, no, I'm not in yet. I've just got the computer connected, but it's still going to be like maybe five, ten minutes before I can. It shows you. Greg, do yours. I got to switch screens. All right. Oh, uh, okay. I got you. Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> did you say I you, think... can't, you can't do yours? I have to switch screens to do mine. I got to go back to the main screen to do mine. Gotcha. All right. Well, I think. And I stress think. Oh, I don't mind that either. But all right. Well, you know what? I think we'll just roll with that. And boy, does she look kind of 80s ish. <laughs> all right. I am officially done waiting for other players. All right. Next. Nice. 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 So let's recap it, dude. We've got a, a tiefling. Talon, what type of tiefling? I missed that part. Zariel tiefling. Zariel tiefling. And is there anything mechanically that sets that tiefling apart from the others in Baldur's Gate? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So there's uh, Asmodeus, uh, Mephistopheles, and Zariel tieflings. And uh, basically, a Zariel tiefling gets Searing Smite at, at third level and Branding Smite at fifth level, I believe. So basically, you get extra smites. So as uh, I said, smite, smite, smite. Yeah. <laughs> and then again, we're going sorcerer to be a multi-class caster, which at this point, we're totally assuming that multi-class casting is working like pen and paper multi-class caster. So in other words, uh, if you're not familiar with that, a if you were a mage cleric, right? Let's say you're a six-level mage, six-level cleric. And you're a 12th level character. But both of your classes are full casters. So so in a nutshell, your casting rate is not affected. You can cast the same amount of spells per day that a 12th level mage can. You just happen to know... Uh, since you're a 6th level caster... But I'm sorry. Okay, six level mage, six level cleric. You actually know fifth level spells of both uh, arcane and divine origin. But since you're a twelfth level caster, uh, you can you actually cast like level. a fifth or yeah. sixth level. You have spell slots that you don't know spells of that level, but you can upcast spells that you do know. In other words, you can cast magic missile at fifth level. Yep. Even though you only know it's a first level spell, you know, your uh, yeah, you spell's spell known. Slot. You, you got to think. spell slot, but not the spell. So a, if, if I were to go, hypothetically, eight levels of paladin, four levels of sorcerer, I, uh, a 12th level paladin gets four first, three second, three third. But a eighth level paladin, uh, paladins are considered half casters, paladins and rangers. And then... Uh, arcane tricksters and spell swords or Eldritch Knights are considered one third casters. So, in other words, every three levels of Eldritch Knight counts as a level of caster. So, if you were a sixth level Eldritch Knight, sixth level mage, that's an eighth level caster because every three levels of Eldritch Knight. So, you would know the spells of an eighth level mage, you would have the spell slots. Sorry, you would have the spell slots of an 8th level mage, but you would only know the spells of a 6th level mage, but again, they could be upcasted. Yep. 
So, so a eighth level paladin, fourth level sorcerer actually knows four three three two. You know two fourth level spells that a twelfth level paladin doesn't. Pretty even much. though you would have to upcast, and yep, then keep upcast. in mind sorcery points, which could sorcery points can be used with meta magic options, or can be spent to convert and restore spell slots. And and a lot of interesting things like uh, the when I played the paladin in Salasta, the biggest way you can screw a paladin is put him too far away from the enemy. You can't get over there and smite. Yeah, him. couldn't get him but over. If, <laughs> but if you were a pal, if you were a sorcerer. And you knew Misty Step. And yeah, on top of that, hurry. on top of that, if you could distance spell and spend one sorcery point to extend the range of Misty Step from 60 feet to 90 feet, now you can Misty Step 90 feet as a bonus action, spend your movement. So you have now moved 120 feet. You should be able to hit some stuff and smite. Mm -hmm. So, uh, non asked, um, what does the guardian do? He's a ball. He's a Baldur's Gate noob here, so he's not played it. So this is him. The guardian. Ah, okay. So in early access, it it did not ask anything about a guardian. It said, uh, what did it say? What do you desire? Yeah, something mm -hmm. like that. That's 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 pretty much very close. It to said, yeah. it said something who's along the lines of who. Whom do you desire? So it was almost as if a love interest. But yep. I, you know, not to give away too many spoilers. Uh, it's definitely not. <laughs> well, well. So, so, uh, and I don't think this is a huge. I, I think if you know anything about Baldur's Gate three, you've probably heard this. It has something to do with a tadpole. Mm -hmm. uh, think of Star Trek and the and Khan and how they would put the thing in your ear, and you were now one of them. Well, there's a tadpole that gets inserted to you and all player characters and all and kind of as you go along the story, noteworthy people. All, there seems to be a massive infection of tadpoles, but for some reason we're not turning into a mind flare. And in the early access, I heard a lot of people speculate that when you had the dreams and you were interacting with who you were attracted to, that that was the tadpole trying to seduce you to what it wanted, because it's it's got access to your brain, so it knows. Not too spoilery. Not too spoilery. You let him watch <laughs> yep. it. But right. but, but now, but, well, he went, he went but way out. <laughs> but now that it asks for it's now that it asks who's your guardian, I think we're I think all that is null and void. Right. See what I'm saying? Because now it's asking a whole different question. Your guardian, not sounds sounds like they're got you believing exactly what they want you to believe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I should I should be up and running with the shared screen you if are, you have availability to you that. You are on, and you are oh, everybody fantastic. sees this. So take All it away, right. my well, friend. Let's Tell everybody what you're doing. Roll. Uh, we have already been through Please. our uh, our run through as of yesterday, so we will be playing a Drow Druid. Uh, oh, no shit! Look at this, Seligen Drow Druid dude's just racing through it. He knows what he wants. Yeah, we know what we are doing. I've decided to go with the urchin background so that we can get some access to some type of. Fever. Nice. Uh, charisma down to the bottom. Intelligence up to 12. And... Oh, 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 interesting note. Did anybody happen to notice this? Did you happen to notice that Shadowheart has a fear of wolves? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> Play again and look at, like, where you see the stats, like Dark Vision and stuff like that. Shadowheart has a fear of wolves. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'll have to check that out. Right. Ooh, we are open. voice eight. Ooh, I wonder what's back there. Uh, we are Ash Tone. And this guy's Ooh. rocking like he knew he showed up late. <laughs> uh, he was already late. <laughs> uh, like a wizard. You showed up right on time. Yeah. Went online and uh, made my character yesterday. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a cool way to do it. Um, so let's see. 
This was going to be midnight. Look at this guy, Greg. Celadron Drow Druid. I know. It's cool. I'm freaking excited. Yeah, this I totally is didn't see that coming. Interesting. So, so yeah, I was kind of setting the stage for this. He did. Jose has played Baldur's Gate 3 the least out of the four of us. Yeah, uh, really? Uh, so we're going to kind of, for the most part, we had talked about kind of letting Jose take the forefront and be the face of the party and experience. Absolutely. Of course, once mean. we get in, of course, once we get in Act Two, none of us know what we're doing. Yep. It's all new territory. Yep. Uh, but like, I have played Act One for four years. <laughs> you know, uh, almost a year now. Yeah. No, like four years. Since twenty twenty. Is it? Yeah, yeah. That's it's come, it's past three years. Okay. Yeah. Coming yeah. up on three. Yeah. Probably December of 2019, of early access. Yeah, because I was a big fan of Divinity, and when I heard they were doing it, like I, I specifically played it before I bought this computer because I played it on my old computer. And at the time, I didn't know if it was my old computer or if it was the height of what early access was doing. You know, that is a killer-looking freaking elf, dude. freaking killer so this isn't this isn't an eladrin drow is that right celadrin uh, yeah celadrin drow okay yeah no no, no not uh eladrin is like the Feywild. seasons yeah exactly look at this where this is cool Oh, you're gonna have oh, look at this, you're gonna man. have default genitals if you don't make a choice. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> it's always the genitals' fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. No two things uh, were overstated. Guys, I would like to introduce you to Morana. Nice. And I've always done my uh, guardian at random. random and really, something something peaks my catches head. your eye. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, you're the winner. I don't know why, but you're the winner. All Little right. Sinead O'Connor. Uh, that is Morana, folks. Uh, she is going to be a druid. Uh, definitely going to be doing the the spores, uh, circle of spores, wrapped. So nice, like Cad and uh, Ravenloft. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Area of effect, denial. There's a, yeah, there's Control. a lot of uh, a lot of fun to be had there. A lot of exploring right. to do. Are you planning to do like a polearm master? Um, I haven't gone too far into the, sure. uh, considering weapons. Uh, yeah. Right now, I think my I'm magic going to focused. Okay. To stay magic focused. Uh, essentially, uh, druid mancer uh, is is where I'm going with this. Not necessarily that she's out for death, but she has no regard for life. If they're equal Ooh. in her eyes. That's cool. I like um, it. Doing the, the background reading on the Circle of Spores Druid. Um, apparently, uh, within the Circle of Spores, they actually see that the undead hold a place within the Circle of Life, even if it's just a temporary transition. But Ooh. they do abhor any of those undead who strive to outreach what their capabilities should be the liches the vampires those that are trying to maintain death when they should be dead so they actually have a, a somewhat of a vendetta against the long-lived undead but the the standard zombie skeletal whatever's that the, they're cool yeah very mm. interesting dude That's very cool. interesting that they have a uh that they uh, 
seek out those who are trying to uh, avoid the wheel of entropy. Very fucking right. cool. That's interesting. That's another, really interesting. Another cool thing too is that 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 circle is like out of Tasha's or Xanathar's. Yeah, it's not even out of the mm -hmm. player's. It's out of Tasha's. Awesome. It's awesome. Very cool, dude. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> switch the screen and uh, get mine knocked out real quick, guys. So you guys can kill your. Uh, Holy shit! So we have shares. a elf, a tiefling, a half orc, and a drow. It's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna get the uh, <laughs> images all turned back on at the bottom. Um, if you guys kill those screen shares, that'll square That's up the videos. Gotcha. Okay, doing it now. Yeah. And let's blink. Perfect. More beautiful. We're all squared up. All right. I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to play a half orc. And he is going to be a fighter. And his fighting style is going to be great weapon fighting. So they're. Yeah, they're watching your screen. Yeah. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah. Yep. And for my background, I'm hey, going to Greg, I think you have to switch over where it's his body type, and then you have to switch over one to the right. Bottom right hand side. Male. Yep. Yeah. You know, unless yep. you it's... want to be that lanky. Yep. yep. We're not judging. We're not judging. You be you, <laughs> you feel like you need to be. Yeah, Do you was... choose what Volvo you want to have? I was I was getting there. I was getting there. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to go, we go. With, uh, Outlander um, for athletics and uh, survival. So my build is going to be a half-orc fighter cleric. So it's going to be a champion fighter and a... a um, oh, Super solid. It? It's not a battle cleric, but it's uh, the equivalent. War? Like war domain? Something, yeah. I can't remember. It something like that? Now. Yeah. Super and, uh, probably something like third level fighter, ninth level cleric. So interestingly enough, man, I remember back in the day when to me, like a player, you're a player character and you're a half orc, like that seemed weird. And now we've got Dragonborn, uh, Tieflings, <laughs> like, I mean, you name it, you know, like, uh, but really looking at the bonuses the die twice the savage crits the half works where it's at if you weren't trying to smite all day you know yeah that's true <laughs> no. right. well think back in first edition the half orc was the only one who could go upwards of i believe eighth or ninth level in fighter I mean, they changed that in second edition, or they could go up to, I think, 14th, 14th or 15th around there. But they were like one of the highest levels you could get for fighter. I think dwarves were the only other one you could do that high of a yeah. level fighter with. And, and it was uh, always like the 20 strength was half, half orcs and dwarves, you know? Yep. Yeah. It's yeah, you had to have like an 18 double zero strength <laughs> back when we still had uh, exceptional strength to that, that percentage roll after your strength die. You took insight, right? Yep, I got insight. Okay, did anybody grab history? Uh, Yep, I have it with uh, Sage. All right, cool. I believe I have history and athletics. Uh, it's a shame I couldn't get religion in there <laughs> yeah i know it's where to next hmm. let's help elves something just woke up down here it's beach it's opened i wonder what's but ozymandas was uh basically raised at the was church he was left on the doorstep something just woke hmm. up down here so i'm gonna do that jawline i like the skin tone i'm gonna stick with that um, this guy is going to be kind of jacked up looking. He's not going to be young. He doesn't look young anyway, but he's not going to be old either. He's going to land somewhere right in here because we just want him to be a little fugly. <laughs> yeah, like an actual, like an actual orc. Yep. Then we're going to 
We're gonna roll some freckles on my man too. Uh, really? Here, and we're gonna pop that intensity all the way. Sure, he's only half orc, dude. You know? Yeah, it's not showing him. Well, I mean, not on the face, but yeah. Oh, it's on his nose. It's the only really freckle to get his nose. Uh, they are there. Some of this fatiglio pigmentation <clears throat> as well. Ooh, how, how oh, are you able to see cool. the stream, Steve? It's, are you, uh, are you watching the guy. stream? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually watching the stream. I opened okay. up the uh, Twitch and I got a full yeah. screen. So. Oh, that's nasty looking. Yeah, that does look nice. My only, um, my only complaint about all of the character creation happened to be the Batiligo. And I was very excited that they had it because I, I just think it's a, a, a very stunning character uh feature oh, like people that cool. have in real life is just like I, there's something about it i just like it's like really? seeing a brendel dog like a pretty brendel dog it's just a great off trait that not everybody has but when you use it in the oh. game Ooh. it chooses the orientation point and grows it out from there and you have zero input as to where to be uh, i, see I, you're would, saying. I yeah. would very much like for there to be you know just give three patterns and then let it let each one grow but each one need like focus from a different variety. area sure exactly sure. yeah my complaint would be that you can't change the you can't give them bigger boobs <laughs> Yep, that's you, all right. Yep. I play a naked truth paladin in my single player playthrough. <clears throat> this is actually surprisingly cool, Greg. It's like uh, I'm modeling it after a freaking street samurai from Shadowrun back in the day. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. It's kind of what I'm, what I'm feeling. That's what's up. Right? That's what's up. Well, you're getting there. <laughs> An orc so street I, samurai, oh, huh? A ha half orc street samurai who can heal himself. Yeah. Like, he's in this for the long haul. Yeah, you might be slick. You might be. Yeah, round three, you were cool. It's round 11. <laughs> so I got to tell you, yeah, now that we're uh, wrapping up and Greg's putting the final Ooh. touches on his guy. Oh. When uh, when I had first brainstormed my characters, it was only up until very recently that I was dead set on still playing a druid. Except he was going to be a forest gnome druid who looked eerily like the messiah of one of the most popular religions. <laughs> and... <laughs> I was going to role play a pacifist. Oh, I was, I was going to do my best to role play a pacifist and see how to long avoid I could combat last. on all. I love it, dude. I love it. What a but challenge! Not, it uh, not to necessarily avoid combat. Like I'm not letting anybody kill me. But at the same right, time, right, right. You're going to defend yourself, I'm, but you're not going to actively seek to hurt people. Yeah, yeah. But you're going to look it'll, for some it'll other only solution be after they've chased me down. <laughs> and I don't I have it. anywhere else to go. Amazing uh, I, idea. Oddly enough, uh, I wound up on the exact opposite side of the coin. <laughs> yeah, the irony. Well, I'm telling you, I've, for days I didn't know if I was going to call him Ozzy or Osborne when I was driving home, and I was like, Ozzy Mandis. Yeah. <laughs> What is, what is I was really curious backwards? about what Greg was going to do with this because no, it's really interesting watching it, watching him build that. It just has Ozzy in there, and then Ozzy Man, this was the second pharaoh of Egypt. Yep. Okay, okay. The king of kings. Wow. Okay. Well, Marana is. I'll have to go back and look at the derivation of the language uh but essentially she is the lady death is how the mm. name translates i think you're gonna have an interesting act three <laughs> 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 i think we're gonna meet lady death uh... oh marana wow
Yeah, she's going to win. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't think you'd go this direction. Uh, All right. River. I'll give you Elric Dwarfbane. Oh, ho! <laughs> Soon to be cleric of Groomsh. Groomsh. Dwarfbane. Devastator nice. of the lands. <clears throat> Okay, that breaker was pretty cool watching that one. Breaker of Dwarf Femurs. Breaker of Dwarf Femurs. <laughs> yep. So I don't I don't think I can push anything so, next. It just says waiting for other players for me. Yeah, might me yeah. too. Probably me. I didn't hit anything when I got out. Am I supposed to hit something? Yeah, begin yeah, it should say I'm waiting for other players. players. Mine's waiting for other players. Well don't tell me we gotta do this again. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Although Jose is quick, I see that. Oh yeah. Uh, well, once you and Steve get done with your fucking makeup, with your highlights <laughs> and your hair. So wait, what are we waiting on? Do I have to? Uh... I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, proceed, proceed. Oh no, mine says, mine says waiting for other players. Mine says ready, waiting for other players. Mine says waiting for other players, and Greg says waiting for other players. Oh, That's geez. what we Are all kidding. say. Oh, hit back and then hit proceed. Yeah. All right, back, back and then uh, venture proceed forth. Again. Proceed. Okay. Okay. And then venture forth. There it goes. Venture forth. Oh no. So back to now ready, I... waiting for other players. So hold. Oh, yeah, okay. there it is. Yeah. Bingo. I think the amount of time mm. that transpired between. Yeah, oh, did you want a penis? Out. I'm gonna mute out Wait, did you want a penis? Because they changed those selections. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> your your genitalia are no longer default. I guess uh, just mute, mute them, Greg. <laughs> God, I really can't believe they did that. I was like, oh man, okay, that's probably a bit much. But you know I'm gonna have to take my clothes off and jack. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I need to know what I'm working with here. I think we might be muted, but let's try to be mindful of the cutscenes so we can. For those of you who've seen them 20 million times already. <laughs> Gerard Butler. <laughs> What was the crossbowman's name? Wayne Tenor. <laughs> That's some excellent theater of the mind. <laughs> Otter right there. This is the point where Trip's like, what level are we? Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying when I first saw it. I was like, what the? I'm first level. Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, what the hell? Uh, this is actually from Star Jammers, the Nautiloids. Mm -hmm. Those are originally from the Star Jammers campaign. Spell Jammers. Spell Jammers, yep. Yes, sir. <laughs> Back in the day, I used to detest like Dark Sun and Spelljammer. I just didn't think that they were. They didn't fit. But, they really didn't. <laughs> but but nowadays, if Greg were running Spelljammer, <laughs> I'd be the first. Probably play it. Yeah.
I just fucking love that. <laughs> now, I have never played this multiplayer, so... That, this that would makes be you want to be a oh, good wait, Yankee. Yeah, I did play this with uh, with you once. Yeah. Hmm. Love it. I love this last bit. That it's was... just so awesome. <laughs> A freaking realization of that moment. Uh, we're in hell. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> hell okay, yeah. So the mind, the mind flayer, did not intend to arrive here. No, he just quick snapped it and boom. Well, he had gotten the, the explosion kind of interrupted his snap. Yep. Right? So it kind of threw him off. I have no idea as to whether or not he was picking the destination, but he was definitely choosing to leave wherever we were at twice. Yeah, really <laughs> fast. Now, really whether fast or not too. <laughs> we're arriving in random locations, I, I couldn't tell you, but he certainly wanted to get far away from the Where he was. Spots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is going to be nuts for people. Freaking, oh, so never exciting. done for people. <laughs> so this ought to be interesting. All right, look away while I check my junk. <laughs> <laughs> now, I well, no, now that we're all on Greg's, it's going to depend on Greg's settings. Greg, did yeah, I didn't. I didn't see the choices back then, so I didn't see any choices for I it. So the, uh, I insulated yeah. the stream. Yes. That's yeah, that's I, why I, I was going to say. I, I I was telling them actually um, when I was setting everything up, uh, when I put the game that we were playing in, because it asks you know it asks for what the game is when you're streaming it. When I put it in, both platforms put it into a mature content rated uh, status. Um, Especially on, RPG. especially on the YouTube side, um, 100%. Yes, the Mind Flayer Non is a bad guy, uh, generally speaking. I'm sure that's not... In my day, that's 100% fact. Uh, it's today, still 100% the... fact. Okay. Still 100%. Yep. They are an, uh, an inherently evil race, and doing evil is part of who they are, I believe. Uh, so the Githyanki, the, the Githyanki and the Githzari were like the slaves of the Mind Flayers, or the Illithid, which is the other name for them. Uh, they're like squid alien things that have psionics and very much involved with your brain. Uh, and the Githyanki were, and the Githzari were their slaves, and they made a pact with Tiamat and became like red dragon riders and broke free of the enslavement of the mind players, and then then they separated into the Githyanki and the Githzari, which the Githyanki are uh, very uh, out for... Uh, to settle the score, very militant, very vengeance associated. Whereas the Gazari are like, "Yo, we got away. Let's, you know, let's live in peace. Let's not go look for shit." Yeah, Whereas, I mean, uh, this is all part of um, their attempt to put psionics into the game. These were the characters that revolved around psionics. Back. That's in the true. Game. They do the the Githyanki, like it says. Sci give Yankee psionics jump or give Yankee psionics mage hand. Like mm -hmm. they, through their association with the illithid, they have unlocked some sort of mental powers. Well, kind of. I mean, they always had psionics, but I mean, even back in first edition, and that was one of the things about them that were pretty intensive was the psionics that and the githyanki silver sword which could sever an astral cord but the screwy thing about the githyanki is even back then i think they were lawful evil or lawful neutral but yet they dwelled in um, limbo which was which was the chaotic neutral plane and it was uh, so it was kind of a weird kind of 
uh, screwy thing how they actually ended up pulling them together. It seems to me that they didn't really pull the entire thing together until about third edition. Because even back in second edition, there wasn't much known about the Githyanki. Though, you know, there were some like later things that came in second edition that might have actually uh, defined them, but they were so obscure that you'd never know. Boy, guys, it seems like I've been on 67% for a minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of lo- researching that at the moment. Um, as a I'm on fact. 33. Oh, you're I'm on, on 33? I'm on 67. I'm on 67. Yep. Okay. I'm just checking. Yeah, it's still uh, still good. Let me just check. Just check a couple other things. My task manager's looking good. My upload speed yeah, is Yeah, you guys looking, are on 67. Uh, my upload speed is like dragging the bottom of the barrel at the moment, though. Huh. So that's that's me, not you. But just hang tight, because oh, it but is. You're still... also uploading to two streams. Yeah, but I dropped that bit rate down to six thousand. Um, but my upload my upload speed on the internet is typically forty, and right now it's piping in at about twenty five. Okay, gotcha. So yeah. I'm right at the I'm right. I'm maxing because I am pushing to both platforms. I'm definitely maxing what my computer can do. I'm hoping it's going to recover on its own without me having to kill one or, you know, kill the, the one side. But we all know which one will die the horrible death if we've got to kill one. <laughs> Sorry, um, Non. We're YouTubers now. <laughs> no. Don't well, it's a screwy thing. Yeah, we'll just bear with it. If, Steve, you're at what, what percent? Still at 33. It's like okay. mine is now stuck at 33. Still I have 67 okay. here. That's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to hit this. Uh, I'm going to hit the speed test one more time. I'm going to check it. Um, and then I think what we'll do, it's about that time for the bio break anyway. Be a good little oh, segue. Good idea. Let me kind of troubleshoot. I got to put my birds up. I'm flying solo. My family's not here. So I'm batching it, which is kind of cool. Not, I mean, it sucks. Sucks when they're not here. What? Yeah, I'm yeah, saying, that's what they get. Shit. Oh my god. Uh, okay, my upload speed is coming back up. It's now about just under 30. So, yeah, let's go ahead and hit bio break. Um, I'm watching over on my task manager too, and it is definitely running. It's starting to pick up some CPU usage. And all that stuff. So, yep, all right, we're going to bio break. Um, I apologize if you've watched the intro video, <laughs> you know, just a minute ago and probably a million times like we have, but I didn't want to play a Solasta video. Yeah. Right? I, so, I haven't seen yeah. them all. Uh, Although I did see that one once before. Yeah. Well, it's the, it's the same one, but I just edited it. So it didn't include any of the, anyway, we'll, we'll be back in just a minute. Uh huh.
All right, we came back in to chat with y'all while we're waiting. Apparently, there was a quick, uh, there was a uh, hot patch. Hot fix. Yep, and uh, all of ours downloaded, but Hughes did not, and that was what was hanging us at that 67, I bet money. Yep, most and, likely. Yep. Versions. So, so we're gonna, we were on for over an hour in character creation. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get back in here and boogie through said character creation. I'm going to skip through the cut scenes. Um, it won't take us but a minute. We all pretty much knew what we were playing before we came in here. And uh, probably 93% created these uh, or, or some version of these characters in the past 24 hours, 24 times. Yeah, uh, we gave it a quick test so we could uh, move right along. Yeah. And that so was our whole plan was for you guys so when we got on we'd be we'd like okay well we have pretty much pretty much a good idea of what we're gonna do but you know we, it gave us uh, enough time to like whip right through it so that we could get right to it but unfortunately it looks like uh they ran a quick hot patch or a hot fix and uh that kind of threw hugh off since he was a little bit late getting on so anyway that's where we are now and uh we're hoping to kind of get things rolling for you so our recreation of the characters should go very quickly at least then we can get to our first save and we'll be doing them simultaneously so it's not like we're going to do them in sequence yeah. again it's it's like yeah all right 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 mm -hmm. yeah well, i think that it's killing us more than it's probably killing you guys <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> that is a lot. Of, I mean, to, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's downloaded. Crazy. Now it's patching. It's 20%. Oh, 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 almost. Almost. <clears throat> well, admittedly, the character creation is probably the longest for, uh, for, for Baldur's Gate 3. So, you know, it's... Uh, it's one of those deals to where this, oh, this is so what we need to speak. Greg, you were AFK. Did you happen to notice that Shadowheart is afraid of wolves? No. If you go to like the you know inventory and there's like the panel, the little icons on the left or right, wherever they're at, and it'll say like dark vision or things like that. Shadowheart has afraid of wolves. If she's within nine meters of a wolf, like she has to make a check. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I happen to notice that. And then, did you guys find any of the plants and fuck with the alchemy? Oh yeah, I oh, did. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was new. That was Wait, cool. Yeah, huh? ashes and uh, no. belladonna. And, uh, there's all, and it's random. Like the, I started two or three different games and found different plants and learned different. And it's almost, I'm gonna say, almost like a War Tales crafting system where you yeah. learn a recipe, you craft it, then you learn something else because you crafted that. Like a familiarity kind of. Yeah, it's pretty. So you quick. really want to pursue it. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's really good. I was actually, I was actually surprised how good it was. It was really yeah. impressive. Well, in early access, I kept finding all those plants thinking, man, mm -hmm. there's something to this. Like, I want to be collecting all so these things. is it the I kind couldn't... of thing that we, well, obviously, anytime there's something that highlights that you're like, oh, I can pick that up, pick it up. Yeah. Um, you're but, picking uh, up these all kinds of These are just herbs and like roots. Would it be and... the kind of thing, like, do you, do you need a proficiency to do this? Or is this something that anybody, everybody can do? Are I would imagine, having... I would imagine you're going to notice more shit than us. Uh being a druid, but we'll see. You know, yeah, oh, I, have, but, I, have, okay, I wish I could tell you. Spot them and harvest them where you I guys mean, would not be able to even see them on your own. Oh, that's what, if I made it, and I mean, Sven's been pretty damn impressive so far. <laughs> yeah. Well, when uh, we were doing it, when we, whenever I played this in beta, like way the hell back when, because I like didn't play it for the longest time, but I would remember I would just pick up all kinds of stuff that I'd be looking at going, well, you know, there should be some reason for this, but I can't find any reason for it. I keep, right. <laughs> it's like, what? <clears throat> well, now I know a lot of it was crafting system. And I suspect, you know, because you could pick up all kinds of things like a rope and like a shovel and like tongs and, and all kinds of weird stuff like that. And I kept thinking, well, you know, that'd be perfect because, you know, you usually have that type of stuff in real D&D &D where, you, ha you know, you have your adventurer's kit where you got your rope, your 10 foot pole, all kinds of 
stuff that mirror uh yeah. 1000 ball bearings <laughs> in a sack yeah stuff uh, like that uh, my rogue uses every bit of that. Every every okay. rogue I've ever built uses a hundred percent of that shit. I ran these guys through the Sunless Citadel. It was one of the very first adventures that we did coming back into D and D a few years back, two three years ago. And I, he's not lying. He played a rogue. He he got a freaking bag of ball bearings, and he absolutely, totally, but not just use them like not not arbitrarily use them, like use them in a very effective way. Yeah, exactly. We would go into a room and I would throw five or six of them into the room and bounce them off of walls and just see if anything reacted. And then if a bunch of shit did spark up, I'd throw a hundred of them on the floor and then close the door and hide and set up a reaction shot. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because that was third edition. That would have been like right when they started to add, you know, the way rogues do sneak attacks these days, which, you know, I I admit they they really or, the third edition really buffed the rogue and it really needed it. Okay, uh, Greg, are you sending an invite? I can. Steam. Yeah. We uh, we got any chitter chatter going over on in YouTube land? I'm I'm in Twitch um, land at the moment. Everything that I'm sending out goes both places. Um, they can't see. Unless they're looking at the little chat box on the screen, they can't see the chat. It's very complicated. I, I don't even want to. There he's huh. in. All right. I'm in and ready. Ready up. Ready, ready up. up. Ready up. Let's roll. Oh. I figured going to tell you. Let's do it. <laughs> Still says Rogue Scholar's not ready. Yeah, because Rogue Scholar's walking up the steps. We don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> you remember, you know how Scratches was always back there. That, that meant that yeah, Rogue Scholar was on, the hell back. He was on walkabout. <laughs> she's like, she's like, it's worth it when I get there. Right. Ready, go. Okay, up we go. Let's do this. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, but that is hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, dude, how 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 Prometheus was that Muriel? Uh, Alien Covenant, Prometheus. Um, probably never saw it. If I'm honest with you, brother. Dude, shut up. Um, from yeah. Prometheus, what's Prometheus? Uh, you guys. Is that a show? These fucking guys. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's a yes. Okay, so let's see. What did we go with? Oh, yeah, we had one of those. Had one of those. Shield, that's what I had. Pink, okay. And appearance. Yeah, I liked that. Eyes, we shifted those to violet. Purple, actually. Hair, real easy. He knew exactly what I was doing.
waiting for other players. Gotcha. Rolling through on my side. Oh no. I, I lost my guardian. <laughs> yeah, you gotta rebuild that one. My true guardian. Alright, I guess who's uh who's plan B? That's so funny because plan B literally was the one right after I said who's plan B. <laughs> That's but make sure you get your visuals right. I I went through and made choices and then I turned around and they were gone. Yeah, they were all gone. So uh, yeah. No, like I just did it again and I turned around and they were gone. Oh really? really? Mine's uh mine's uh exactly yeah. how Yeah, I don't know what I did to lose what I just chose. Yeah, I'm with Greg in the uh, waiting for other players arena. Okay. I'm coming. Should be there shortly. Where's, uh, where's, does Baldur's Gate not have wow. a notify other players button? <laughs> so, sorry, guys. I'm hilarious, but. Wow. Hmm. Is it rejecting your choices still, you? No, 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 no. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. I'm hiring. Uh, I was hoping that was the uh, case from from the silence. You know, that's adventure crazy. waiting for other players. Oh, he's Choose there. me, check mark. Boom. Shows me. Check mark. Hair. Check mark. And it's me. Bink and bink and I am almost there. Uh, uh, I think I'm good. Yeah. Boy, when I played a fighter, it snuck the fighting style in on me. I never made a choice. Like, I had to go back and play with that. You really got to pay attention. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, you know what? I think I'm as good to go as any. So. Confirm. Yeah. All right. Venture forth. All right. We can skip this. Since we already did it. No, I let it play. Non's never seen it. Really? Hell yeah. Never, We're moving. I've never seen it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I guess yeah, so. Yeah, we, we just yeah. did, so. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. Boom, 67, 100%. 100%. Yeah, 100% here, too. 100%. That was that faster. Was yeah, version That was a little bad. faster. This is awful <laughs> load screeny for 100%, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Got me there. Uh, read your tips. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, cool. Oh, that's a bug. I've been in hyperspace. Yeah. Cryostasis. I don't have any clothes on. Oh, no, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're all together. All right, all right. Well, there you are. 
I was in the other pod, way over there. What's up, peeps? All right, let's spread out and get this room wiped out real quick. There's a couple things to find. Yeah, I remember them, barely. Cart cartilaginous, car cartilaginous chest. Got it. Go ahead. That, that's one of them. Antidote I think they were moved. Yeah, there's nothing over here anymore. Okay. Yeah, they shortened this pretty much a lot. Yeah, they removed the, that part. I'm going to look at the nursery. The parasite now okay. The, the, it's not the, a bad the, idea. Let the people see the the first roll. I'm going to investigate the pool. Should I? Here, hold on. Uh, Well, uh, let's vote? see. Any votes? Yeah, I'm go ahead. Vote. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna stay back here. I'm going to stay back here. You go ahead. Ooh, look. good idea. Yeah, no? Oh, oh, here we I go. Just, there we I go. Pool. Oh, there we go. I started. So, so this is the interactive part, guys. I think that uh, I made it to where you can uh, pick. Oh look! All right. Oh look! Ooh. Silver and Hugh oh, have voted. Hold on. Yeah, I click on one of the responses. The mm -hmm. Also, the, well, the, the the chat can too. So you like, click on it. Um, click your little mouse clicker. Non and Angus can also. Oh really? Yes. Oh, because I didn't click the ear. That's why. Yep, you gotta click the ear. I thought I had clicked the ear. I was like, "What do you guys see?" Or you right click and hit listen. Yep, that too. Yeah. All right. Doesn't appear that. And if no. you're stealth, it'll want to steal their pockets. Okay. The biggest thing I've found is you. We want to go to your reactions, and you want to set it to ask you about reactions, like attacks of opportunity, divine smite, anything like that. That's the biggest thing that I've found in, the, in this. And when you level up, you want to go there and check it again because new abilities will be there and you want it to ask you. I'm waiting for you to roll, Greg. Yeah. Roll them up. It's changing my dice. See how my dice is now red? No. Oh, uh, no, I don't. Guidance. Oh, that was handy. Oh. Oh, how'd you change your dice? <laughs> Uh, bottom left when I went to roll there's a little icon the bottom left that let me change it the casing is really better. yeah the slightest touch could cause it no shit. oh you oh. ugly yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay cool you see it now all right cool so uh, next time we have a dialogue um, all right, so if, you, if you're the guy that goes in the dialogue, look to the bottom left, there's buttons. And the one that's closest to the center of the screen um, allows you to turn that dialogue into a community poll for Non and Angus and everybody else that's watching. Hey, you're ugly as ah, sin, right? Thank you. But yeah, I he's didn't nasty see the looking. community poll come through on Twitch. I'm a handsome devil. It is on the screen. It's like literally on the game screen. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, well, I won't be able to ours. see it. Yep. yep. They'll be able to see it. We won't. Okay, I got a watching. couple of Eldritch tablets over here. Go get the brain. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Good luck on that. Well, you know what? I better go get the brain. I'm better at it. Dude, I got it. I got it on my Fighter Barbarian playthrough. Where I'm playing a Fighter Barbarian. I've, really? I, yep. I've gotten it every time I've played the game. Is it something you don't automatically get? Like I've granted that's only been well, like four or five times. But if you wanna, if you wanna make it more uh, pliant so that it doesn't turn on you, you have yeah. to like wound it. Right. I but I've always been either. able to do that. And it did not turn on me. I'm telling you, dude, this uh, game is not predictable. <laughs> no, it's not. All right, who's gonna let uh, let Jose go for it? Go for it, Jose. Okay, Jose, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's let him do it. And then he can he can do the poll and all that stuff and see how it works out. Yep. Go ahead and click on it, Jose. I did. Oh, I'm guys, I can't believe yeah, we're here. Turn. This is awesome. Yeah. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Oh, quivers in expectation. 
Reg save often, F5. <laughs> yeah, really. All right, so you see the little red button at the bottom left? Dialogue history, gameplay, game menu. No, it says start a community poll for this choice. You don't see that? No. All right, I'll hit it. No, I don't All right, have there that. We go. All right, so now on the stream, you guys okay. can see it. Oh, and there's uh, there's silver voting. Uh, there's one vote for who am I talking to, a man or brain. Is that you? That's you. That's you. Mm -hmm. That's you. Use the question mark. You can scroll over the... Oh, yeah, I should probably come up with a symbol, huh? <laughs> Ooh, I think. Oh, you don't have investigation, do you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got investigation. Oh, good. So, so check it out. So the double yellow or, arrows is Jose. The symbols to the right are us, but I think the white uh, arrows to the left are the audience. I think. Mm, the white okay. arrows to the left. I don't see white arrows to the left. Is that? I don't either. That's because I have. We're seeing. No, I got to start. So I started the. I started the. Okay. The poll. Right. Okay. Right. So silver has voted on number two, right? I'll vote on number two. So you see my symbol. So that's us over there. So if somebody, if trip or non, yeah. So you vote, non voted number one on the last one, vote on this one, non, so I can show them what that icon looks like. So we know to pay attention to it just so we know to pay attention to it. Oh. If you don't mind. <laughs> Wonder. I see that Greg and Silver voted number two. Yep. Yeah, I see that. The poll now. Here, let me. Uh... Well, I mean, I'm going to vote. I think she's uh, Dex build. <laughs> <laughs> they don't see it, so you can go ahead and. Uh... Oh no, I see it now. I know, but oh, they, I they don't. don't. No, it does not. Oh wait, no, that's yeah. that's, uh, that's that's my screen that I see. Uh... There we go. <laughs> Two, boom. Got it. Oh, yeah. This is so cool. This is far more animated than it was before. Opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. Could we? Could we? Hmm. Community poll? Throw that put out there. I, I saw you do it. There, I saw yeah. you do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to start hitting it, and if they, you know, you just give them a minute. If you don't see anything, carry on. And if they vote, maybe consider it. I'm sure it might be a little yeah, bug. we shall. Got my guidance. Oh, look, I got 20. That's good. Ooh, That'll nice do. roll. Got it. That'll do. Just like a peach. <laughs> it relaxes in your hands. So, Our freedom is ours, friend. what happens if you don't get it? Well, then it attacks you. And for like three rounds, it's a newborn, and then it becomes like. Yep, then it becomes a full, full health. health. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Do the poll. We are us. We okay, are us. us. Uh, what's at the hell? Going to the 
<laughs> well, there used to be a chest nice. up here. Yeah, there used to be a chest up here, but I guess they pulled that. All right. Down we go. <laughs> Come back for you. <laughs> oh, guess who gets the guess who's got the brain though? The brain will run around to that ramp. Like as soon as you click towards the door, the brain will or towards anywhere moving forward, that brain will run around. Yeah, it's got like spider climb or something. There's a ramp right here. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is going to be very low. All right. So does everybody see their own portrait when they're doing the cutscene? Right now, you're yeah. the center of attention. But I see all four of us. Yep. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure it was. But she's I focused heard. on you because you were in mm -hmm. the front. This is your end. That better none. Private dialogue. I got it. Okay. Ah. Uh, well, you can select that. it. The checkbox for it. This is our first combat. Uh -huh. mm. It will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. This is such a cool video sequence. That is. Excellent suggestion, woman. Give me that sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have shared initiative. Oh, that's move. right. Have made me your enemy. Okay, that never made sense before, but now it does. Shared. See the weave? Okay, oh, see our character good. portraits at the top? See how they're weaved together? The, that means well, shared they initiative. They're all outlined in the same color. Which well, I can tell the differences between, well, it's not, I think. Oh, no. Well, it's not just that, but like if, uh, it's the, see how the edges are kind of weaved together, almost braided? If it were just a box <laughs> oh, oh, okay. that were separated, I see, I see. Right, then you right. could not, that's shared oh, initiative. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yep. So I can I, uh, go. To the enemy, yeah, if they the have place, shared so. initiative, six of them like this once, you got to be paying attention. They'll move and fire. Boop, boop, boop. Yep. Gotcha. They all will. It speeds up mass combats. Yes, it does. And it gives us a lot of agency to choose who heals first, who moves, who provokes an attack of opportunity, who doesn't. I have. Oh, oh I have her as well. Yeah, you woke him up without without killing him. I'll take care of it. One sleeping, one left. Oh wait, no, I have, why do I have three characters and you guys all only have one? What <laughs> yeah, you're the you one who walked into one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're the one who walked oh, into one. How that works? Yeah, yep. it'll only be for another minute or two, like, till we get off the ship. 
Are we still shared initiative? I can't quite get there. Oh, but look, look, look. If you jump first as your bonus action, and then... There yep. you go. Yeah. Wait. Probably at least a crossbow or two laying on the ground here in the yeah, gym. Yeah, short sword. Anybody see a short sword? I've got a light crossbow if anybody wants it. I'll take a light crossbow uh, just in case. There's going to be some more dead <clears throat> laying around. Plan to get up and close and personal with my short sword. Oh, that's uh, that usually a, a hand. Uh, here's a of where we here's a hand play. axe. What the heck? I'm short sword, sword. and a short bow. Who needs a short sword? Silver. I do. I do. Yep. Boom. Um. Thing over her, where I can see it. There we go. All right, cool. Okay, good. All right. Um, I got to hand this crossbow to Greg, and Sorry. Greg, you now have the crossbow. All right, I now have a short sword, which is good. Uh, does anybody want a hand axe or a scimitar? I'll take a hand axe. I can throw it. I'm good. okay. Oh, I've got uh, tossing a tossing that robe and a short short bow. Okay, I'm good on Anybody need a short bow? I do not need a short bow yet. Okay. Oh, that's where you guys are. Standing all up on top of me. All right, going up the ladder. I think, or not. Are you going to make it up? <laughs> it's not letting me do it. <laughs> it's like, well, okay, all you right, to, well, now it is. You have to uh, climb to the, yeah, click on the top. All right, going to open the sphincter. <laughs> Where is this? Oh, hide? Is that what it is? Yep. Uh, sneak button? Okay. That's the sneak button. Uh oh. Hey, what's this button do? <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? We'll just do that. Are we back at shared initiative? No. Nope. See now, now silver leaf is between you. Ah, uh, so if you're not in the combat, you've got like a free action that you can manipulate. Yep. So uh, I don't see oh. you on the combat tracker. So you no, can I'm literally go over there and attack. Yeah, if we're in turn base and you're not uh, okay. right next to me. There must have been an amount of time oh. for that. Okay, that. Oh, was oh, oh! Hard. Attack! What's going on? Attack that fucking mind flare! Hit that motherfucker! Where's he going? How's he not in turn base? Apparently, they think we're thralls. Alright, good. We'll still get him. He's going back in the other room. Who's next? I'm on the mind flare on us, level one. Yep. Sacrifice. Mind yeah, the mind flare. I think flare. Jose's controlling oh, him. Yep. Okay. So Jose's got to make that mind flare do something. Jose's suddenly up to his neck. Oh, you're dude. saying mind flare? That's not a mind flare. That's. Uh, I'm sorry. That's a uh, intellect devourer. Yeah, yeah, us. That's us. Mm -hmm. You need to move <laughs> us. That way. <laughs> <laughs> you need to figure out. You need to make up your mind what us is doing. Osmandius. Oh, what? So I should be attacking a thrall. Yep. Nice. Good us. Well, my turn again? Oh, okay. Well, you know what? That's Silverleaf. So now we're all intertwined. Interesting. Except me. Except for you. Yep. 
I'm last. <clears throat> yeah, see how we're not intertwined, and uh, Elric Dwarfsbane is after the sacrifice cultist. Oh, no. Oh, that was cool. That was so cool. Okay. Ooh, listening to Silverleaf. I'm not. I'm not touching another. Yep, thing. I'm in a conversation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can get that one. Right listening click on to me. Silverleaf. Yeah. Yep. Hey, uh, do you see at the bottom left? Do you see a red graph bar looking thing on your screen? I do not. Okay. Nope. Uh, All right. There's a character happening. select option. Yeah, if you right click on me, you should be able to ear me. I hear well, you. Bottom <laughs> left. Uh, right. In the middle, there's that character select. That's not been on one. I think that's if you wanted somebody else to take the stab at doing it. Okay. That was such I a drag. Up that. <laughs> yeah, uh, really. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I can't even <laughs> see you, dude. All I can see is the glow off of your headphone. Really? Yep. Oh, that's a massive success. 22. Hell, yeah. Now I see your face from the lighter. That was a figment of your imagination. Hurry, All right. All right, let's inscribe the, inscribe the device with the glyphs you sensed from the pod's warding runes. Entering turn-based mode. Yeah, because I'm hitting this fucking thing. Fuck this thing. It's on a lithid ship. It ain't friendly. My <laughs> <laughs> inventory so. This ain't us. <laughs> this is them. Damn. Got him. Look in this pod. Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice. Pardon. All right. I observe. I the got pod. it. You absorbed the pod? Observed it. Observed it? So right where we came in the door here, there was a dead body with a key and a scimitar. Oh, and I got the glyph, I think. You can go push that button? You should go push that button. This button? Push the button. What's the button do? Oh, not much anything. <laughs> Watching. I like your leaf armor. I don't know how it does against swords. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. Oh, you guys went into that next part, huh? That's cool. The person inside to change. Oh, I got better. I got much better. Nasty. Oh, that's what you were talking about, Hugh. No, I mean, you specifically mentioned there's not a button you can push to make sense. I said, yes, there is. I, uh, I figured that none might want to see that. As that's a pretty cool cinematic. I hear something. Yeah, that was. Voices. So yeah, so there was a body and I found a key. So I think that's going to be the key to this chest. Oh, did you get her out already? Oh, uh, yes. All right. Yeah, I got her out. I was doing that while you guys 
went over to the next room and did yeah, that. We definitely <laughs> okay. have to communicate that stuff or the audience is going to miss like all that stuff. Sweet. Gotta, so Steve yeah, got her out. Yeah. Okay. Got to slow it down or we'll miss a lot of cinematics. So there was a rune we found on a dead body in there and he put it in this console and it opened up Shadow Hearts pod. Yep. Yep. And let's see but is she we... part of the party now? Uh, she went, went to the... Uh, she went. went. Did you get yep. the rune from? I have the rune. Well, do we have a uh, magic pockets where if one Can of us has a key, and you, yeah. Oh, if, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Anybody have a dagger or a sh another short sword? Okay. Uh, I have a scimitar. Yeah, I got one of those too. Just. No second short sword. Oh well. <clears throat> Scimitars, mechanically same thing, right? Yeah, mechanically. <laughs> Once inside, I think we're all healed here. That's so. what's a shame in Five E. There should be like uh, a much more variety and flair between a pike, a glaive, a halberd, yeah, a yeah. bastard sword, a long sword, a two-handed sword. Which, uh, uh, which this game yeah. brings some of that in because you get those cleave abilities and smash it, concussion of strike, all that stuff. So this is where you're saying we can get a sword? <laughs> yeah, if we, if we if, uh, uh, you used to be able to. Uh, yeah. Well, you can try it if you guys want. If we're on tactician, dude has almost 200 hit points. Oh, okay, drop one oh God. <laughs> we are on tactician. Yeah, dude's going to have like 195 hit points. So you can forget that sword. Yeah. He's going to kill the mind flare. He will. And we're going to have, and we're gonna have 60 to 100 hit points worth of him to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He has oh, 195. That's it. My player yeah. has 110. And two attacks oh, okay. for him. He's an eighth level. He's pretty nasty. Yeah. He's level eight. Yeah. You're up, Rogue. But you notice, okay, now this is a great example. Look at the initiative. There's almost no yep. weave. Uh, right. Us, Lazel, and weave. Greg there is still has weave. a weave. They're a shared initiative, but the rest of them are not. And that can change again as goes on too like as, as okay as when it's your turn down. even okay it doesn't even have to be your turn hit the i button and that's your inventory and then at the top there's spell book and then there's alchemy all right but if you go to spell book and then there's paladin Never common reactions nice you want to go to reactions and you want to hit ask on everything that's a reaction in your spell book i Sorry, I didn't hear any of that. I was trying to figure out how to move. So, so hold on. Hit the, everybody. Hit the I button, then you'll see your inventory, and then and then go to spell book at the top. There's a equipment spell book, spell book. Now you have like your class on the left, then common, then reactions. Go to reactions, and I check the ask button on everything. Like right now, it's just showing me. I don't see a spell book. Oh wait, spell book. Right now, it's only showing me opportunity attack, but every time you level up as a paladin, I want to come here and check reactions because it's going to, I can choose it, have it ask me if it, when it wants me to smite or not, or. I don't find anywhere that says spellbook. It looks like hit a I up at the very yeah, top. Yeah, I'm on the I. Right. All right. At oh, the okay, very okay, top. The icons. Gotcha. Gotcha. Spellbook and then reactions. And trust me, as you level up, that's one of the biggest things. You want it to ask, you know? Yeah. Because you want to make decisions. You don't want it to just do your... You don't want a goblin to run next to you and it trigger your attack yeah. of opportunity. Right. When, when you, you could have shielded up. versus the... Precisely. Entirely. ...bullet. What's that? My brain... Myself on fire. 
Oh, nice hit. That means. <laughs> that means these pits are on fire. <laughs> You're a half orc. You'll only die half as much. Half as much. <laughs> half an orc. <laughs> oh. Nice. Dude, how beautiful is this map? Yeah. This game. Pretty cool. I mean, this is like Celasta on crack. Ooh. Oh, dude, it's brilliant. This is just the beginning, man. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That dude, look at his sword, Jose. Yeah, you can get it. On Tactician nowadays, uh, in the last two days, I haven't gotten it. <laughs> Dude's got 195 hit points. He's not effing around. Yeah, really. We might be best just to run on by him. Nice. We might have to. Yep. I don't have to have that one. <laughs> yeah, that's who we'd be getting it for. He would be you. I'm but I am you. gonna take a swing at dude while I'm over here because I've got oh I can't do Inquisitor's Might okay no because I already jumped all right well let's try a concussive smash oh shit Greg's hurt oh what's up day sky I hit him with a concussive smash oh he's got him for oh. Good turn. oh 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 Oh, Greg's got a cool tattoo. Hurry. Yeah. All right. Was it me already? Oh, no. Greg hasn't ended his turn yet. And Lazaro oh, hasn't. Still, I have to, uh, yeah. Do what's her face. A laser. All right. Not that I'm saying to do it, but you notice the bulbs hanging yeah, above everything. Those are like stalactites and Celasta. If you oh, shoot wow. Them. Not only that, the nautiloid tanks are full of explosive. Oh yeah, yeah, those combustible material. But we quite literally probably don't want to spend too long fucking around with this commander's alt dude. He's beast. Oh he's, god! As you notice he's fucking the mind flare up. Pretty bad. Yep. Guess who becomes the target when the mind flare goes bye bye? Uh, like, yeah. like he's got what, three of he's us in one round. Like, yep, pretty much. He'll kill three of us in one round. Where's my dash? There, thank you. Yeah, he really will. <laughs> so. And turn. Jesus. Can we heal that he, mind player at all? He's oh, a he's commander in hell. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fuck him. <laughs> oh, I should have done. Damn it, I should have done that first. Uh, but you know what? We're gonna try. Oh, What's nice. up? Good idea. <laughs> okay, I got better things to do. Yeah, we still got stuff coming. <laughs> no, I said, run away, run away. <laughs> Run away! No, you're lucky. You cannot ready, Angus. <laughs> you're lucky. I need to get off this ship. Yep. That's a Salasta. That's really a Salasta thing. Yeah. That's there's no action. dodge. There's no dodge action, and there's no ready. Yep. Nice hit. Oh, nice. Oh, I saw your. Hit. I saw your attack of opportunity come up and ask. That was cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You definitely again every level as a paladin. It's huge because it's smite. You want to go there and check and make, set it to ask because as you gain abilities, it won't ask. It'll just do yeah it. automatically do it, and it'll make a shitty decision. It'll smite a dude with that one hit point left. Yeah, stupid stuff like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll attack of opportunity a goblin. <laughs> yeah. When you could have been saving shield for the twig blight. Yeah. It's gonna. gonna I said twig blight. 
<laughs> yeah, you Thank did. You. I, don't, I don't think there's twig lights in this, but we'll see. Alright. Yeah, it's a band. Good. Alright. Actually, yeah, I think I'll move to right here. Ella, it's only 9.30. We're going to get somewhere. We're going to get somewhere. We're going to yeah, get to actually. level two. Easy. Oh, yeah. As soon as we get off the ship, which is going to happen momentarily. Greg, are you yeah. multi-classing at level two? Uh, Undecided yet. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Oh, nice one. Oh, fiend. Okay. Well, that just decided that. I like fiends. What? I had a 75% chance to hit. Oh, no way. <laughs> Shut up. I did Inquisitor's Might. Oh, cool looking uh, shield on that. I had 75% chance to hit, and I missed. Nice. Got nice up. kill. All right, clean run. Can you sprint? Well, because that, that, he's about to kill that uh, Illithid, so. Can you dash there? You might okay, be able well, to make it. Yeah, if you don't kill that thing, I'm gonna use a spell on it, so we'll be good. All we all we gotta do is get yeah. one person into the console, and we're good. He's got it. Yeah. The Helm's alien awesome. Ah, there we go. Did it in time. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you rude dragon. Yeah, what a little piss head. Into the astral sea. Dude, that's beautiful. Yeah, they changed that. That That's much better now. Oh, clutches. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Nice. <laughs> clutches, <laughs> McGee. Cliffhanger. I think you made us teleport. You uh, remember, like, every time he would connect the tentacles and then touch it, and we would teleport. I think you got us out of there. Yep. Oh, that's okay. reaching the helm. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Uh oh, not good. I'm stuck on. There we go. Now I'm moving again. I'm Where'd stuck you bring on 33 us? again. That's a good question. I'm at, I'm at 67 again. Yep. Same here. Same there here. we go. Good thing is we've got saves. Yep. 100. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when you through creation, you got to launch before you ever get any kind of save. And admittedly, the very first time that we tried to roll four different characters and then launch a game, it's... Yeah. <clears throat> Look at this. Yeah, this ought to be good. I wonder if... Because mine bugged out when I did the... When I did the official campaign, I was playing through it real quick again. <clears throat> oh, she had demon eyes. They were black it around the bad. edges. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like the same thing. We just kind of clicked through, and we didn't intend to come here. This is just where we ended up. I mean, you were driving. Is this not yeah, where you wanted to go? Yeah, you, man. <laughs> oh, Greg. Oh, weird. For some reason, on mine, Greg was standing. And now he's falling very awkwardly. Okay. But yeah, it's Greg's character. Yeah, it is. So normally you're falling and you're upside down there and you're suspended. 
My the graphics were a little screwy. Yep. Okay. On my end. I think the stream is normal. Mine was normal. Yeah, okay. mine was normal this time, but when I did the the first player single player playthrough it they it hosed up. Alright, now I'm looking right. It's me. Yep, now I'm back at myself. I'm a handsome devil. I can I see you behind me. <laughs> <laughs> The tadpole squirms in your skull. Uh. The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence. Heck yeah, fellas. You need a cure. Okay, so we each just got our own little personal private dialogue. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Find a cure. What? Look at this. Hey, guess who? I found Shadow Art. What the hell? Ear me, ear me. I just spoke to Shadow Art. Yeah, listen to him. Okay, so she's alive. Okay. I wondered about it. this. I wondered about the her artifact. I wonder, what do you guys want to do? I mean, what's your... It's on you, brother. What's your gut? Oh, I was going to probably reach for the artifact. Uh, I know that... <laughs> I know that... Uh, I know what I did, but... It's going to be... Yeah, dude, play your, play your character, dude. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play my character. Oh, only thing is, my character's choice isn't there, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. It looks like she ran off without us. No, I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. <laughs> we need each other, and we both know what's at stake. He needs me. You seem overburdened with hangers-on already. Fine, but don't delay. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm not interested in all your company. Yeah, I didn't like you guys. She liked me, no, but not you guys. She, she saw me. She knew she couldn't compete. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Level ups. She's got some pretty green eyes. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> level up. Yes, which we don't need to do anything. You just hit the button under your portrait and level up. Yep. My yeah. Favorite. On the fly. On the fly. <laughs> All right. All right. Now I gotta make my decision. But that doesn't take effect until you rest. Is that right? Negative. No, it's immediate. You're, you are currently leveling up. Mm. On the left. Mm. Uh, no, I'm, I'm in the level up screen. Yep. Yep. Yep, but on the left is where you do your stuff. Oh, yeah. Fan frickin' test. Hmm. <clears throat> That's what's up. There we go. Uh, my prepared spells didn't change at all. Hmm. All right. 
There we go. <clears throat> I did decide to go evoker. What? You're kidding. Evoke it is. I decided to go ahead and take my cleric class. War domain. Ah, yeah. Of Grush. You got Why? it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just going to bounce oh. back and forth till I get my third level fighter. Then I'm going to just go. Psh. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> I just picked up a hat. Hmm. Okay, I'm following Hugh. Aw, boo. Hey, I accidentally gave you all my good berries. Elric, I only meant to give you one. Give it back. The Indian giver. <laughs> well, give three of them back. Let's see. Good berry. Split. Just want one. You want three? Yeah. <clears throat> And you are. All right. Why can't I send them to you? I thought it said that you did. I split them, but when I go to my character sheet, bottom left click, bottom on right, it. the little notebook looking thing, you've got a combat log, which you can open and expand with the plus button. Yeah, I saw that. It said that he, it just said that he picked up three good berries. Yeah, I'm in my in my inventory. I'm left or right clicking on the item, and I'm going down to the send to, and I only see Silverleaf mm -hmm. and Osmianatus. I do not see your character. So I'm going to um, I'm going to put them on the ground. <laughs> there you go. They're right there. You see them? Yep. There you go. I don't know what was it up varies. with that. And there's still not in my inventory. Uh, I wonder if you got the uh, ticket. You can store it. I mean, I have nothing in my inventory right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't worry about me and Hugh. We're just looting, so. Uh, inventory, party, I'm just going to look and see. I see a couple of things in your inventory. Blade mine, antidote. I don't see any good berries. I don't see any good berries in anybody's hand. Uh, and I, I see yeah. one in Greg's. Mm -hmm. Who wanted the crossbow? Light crossbow? Did somebody want that light crossbow? Nope. I don't. Do I need to save and reload for you, Rogue? Because I'm not, uh, like, I don't see, like, go to something in your inventory and right-click on it like you're going to send it to somebody. Right? I see one good berry in Greg's inventory. They don't last forever. Uh, they last, like, 24, 24 hours. hours. Yeah, yeah, I see the three of yours' names. Yeah, well, those do... good berries should have definitely come back. Oh, now I see you. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. My camera view changed. To top down? How did that happen? Anybody know? Hit, uh, hit the O button. Hit the O button. Okay. Overhead. More of those wretched uh, oh. I would just good berries. I wouldn't worry about it. You know, I'd say proceed. They're gonna disappear. It's not used, and we're full health. Well, no, I just cast it. It's it's more of a uh, making sure. Nah, I just don't know what to. Yeah, I only see. I picked him up. 
but they didn't uh, make it into my inventory. I only see one in Greg's inventory. Yeah, yeah I put I three on the ground four. already. Yeah. Oh. All good. Oh, hold on. In your camp supply pack, you have three good berries. Morana. Camp supply pack? Yep. What is that? Go to your inventory and look for the thing called camp supply pack. Oh, that's where you put them. Oh, there's another. There's like a container in a, a bag container. within a bag. Yep. Yep. Time to press ahead. Okay. Cool. I uh, got some intellect of ours up here. Yep. So they found him. It's on. Let's get him. <clears throat> this is a tough one. All right. Boom. I was going to say hold up for a rogue, but he's here. Nice. Boom. Hit, dude. Chromatic orb? Yep. <laughs> Sweet. That was nice. Sweet. Rogue is up. Two of them left. Yeah. Oh, nice. What was that? Fairy fire. Ooh, cool. Fairy fire. Advantage to hit him now. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, come closer. Perfect. One strike could be Oh, oh. Cool. just beating on right? shit. Yeah. There it is. That's all we got. Did my brain die? Yeah. Oh, he Apparently got him. on the ship. When did that? Crushed him. Yep. Oh, oh. Apparently on the ship. Right, right. We're, we're Didn't off. Didn't make it off. I got that up there. It looks oh, like did? one of the intellect of devourers. Somebody might have toggle. Looks like this one's knocked out. Somebody might have toggle. Uh... Like, look, it's not dead. It's knocked out. Now it's dead. Oh, now it's dead. <laughs> so you can see you can toggle non-lethal attacks on your oh, pass. Oh. Somebody may have had that turned on. Is that? toggle at uh, on the very bottom of the screen you have the three the diamonds which is like the common well the diamonds which is your default then you have common I have paladin items passives customs if you passes. click passes yeah yep. toggle non-lethal it, was, not, it the, was toggled off it was because of that that attack I did causes dazed ah mm. uh, yep Everybody anybody uh smash any, or something anybody want a rapier oh, are you kidding me critical failure yeah anybody a dex build i think we were still on the ship <laughs> Yeah, ironically. It's funny. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this yeah. over here. Let's go down the here. Starian? Who's this? Oh, I did not mean to get that close. Are you talking to him? He's in dialogue, yeah. Alright, I'm yep. going. I've got one of those brain things called.
He's got one of those brain things cornered. That's what he said. Yep. Dude, your hair and your eye makeup and lips match perfect. That's Great. incredible. They do. And you're colorblind. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Yeah, they've got color codes. Like, all the colors are named. I can finally do that. <laughs> I want to see. There. Can you see it? Just a dumb bore. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. Mm. That's whole I information. I saw you scuttling about on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacles. Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? It's those tentacled monsters. Whatever they did, whatever they put in us, just created a connection. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And you, vampire? I was ready to decorate the ground. <laughs> Apologies. I mean, does he seem like a vampire? So I hope an introduction will suffice. I'm looking at his teeth. My name's Astarian. That looks a lot like a vampire. Looks a lot like a vampire to me. He's standing in the sun. The strong and silent type. Mm, true. All right. Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. Um. Yes. Turn us into. <laughs> Wait, look at his neck. Oh, look at his neck. I was going to say the same thing. Those are bite marks. What else did I expect? Although, mm. it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Yeah, I don't have an option for we can't be friends anymore. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You guys want to put this up to a vote? You guys aren't even here. Yep. Wait, th that's it. You're doomed, sorry, and then off to the next adventure. These worms are doing something. I can feel it. What are you going to do about it? Am I your mommy? <laughs> of course. I'll make my own way. Well, maybe I'll see you again. Still wearing the same skin, I hope. Interesting. Probably not. Probably not. Interesting, dude. Alright. Jose just talked to Asterion away. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I think you're the only one strong enough to do this one. Hey, back here, Jose. Uh, there's something we're going to... Okay, I found it. You should be able to budget. I won't have the strength. Oh, I found it before you got here. I don't know how. Oh, that's you. Yep, that's you. Or not you, but Greg. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. How do I get down there? You have to jump. You gotta to jump. jump. I have to go help this boar. There we go. <laughs> Didn't expect you to do that, but you so are a... Cool. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, Dude, she this. looks awesome. What a 25. The ball grows. Here, here. And eyes you warily with its beady eyes. The ball shuffles its trotters, unsure. Then it dashes away into the wilderness. Fair enough. Wait, you're still right here. <laughs> did I just get ghosted by a boar? <laughs> yeah, I think you did. He said you were quite the boar. <laughs> I got bored. <laughs> <laughs> he got bored. I got bored by a bored boar. <laughs> <laughs> he said if he had arms and legs, he would waterboard you. <laughs> oh, dude. So, look, I'm going to tell you, in my single player playthrough yesterday, I got to here. I'll tell it after. I'll tell it after. Let's just... Go ahead, okay. say. Or... I know what you're going to say. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I've noticed that uh, trip. I think that's just the bug. You could end its life here and now. Mm -hmm. If only you didn't feel... Mind player next to you there, Jose. I know. Are you guys listening to the... Yeah, I'm listening. You got to give a shout, though, guys. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I keep coming in late. I thought um, I thought that's what you were waiting for me to do. I don't know when you're doing it, though. I could end its life here and now. If only I didn't feel given to the emotion. This isn't right. Step away. Yes, you oh, feel I should hate. be furious. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped. Made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Mm hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh man, you guys might be losing a druid. <laughs> The monster nope. lies nope. exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. That's how so, Marana plays. So I got into a, a position here yesterday where I had to make a roll. And I rolled a, a one, which in Baldur's Gate 3 is a critical failure, whether it's skill or combat, and I died. I noticed that the other day. <laughs> you did, huh? Okay. Yep. I rolled a one when I tried to get Shadowheart out of the cage. Oh, wow, really? With on my illithid two or better roll. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. man. And I was like, oh my gosh, and I spent forever. And then I realized I could switch over to get the Yankee. And the get the Yankee succeeded. <laughs> Ooh, supply pack. Oh, I finally saw that death scene you were telling me about, Hugh. With uh That's hilarious, huh? Yeah, it's great. Gale. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's fantastic. I wanted All to right. roleplay that in tabletop. Just Going into conversation. It would be so long before anybody saw it. Going into conversation. Minute. I'm not. No. Love the hat. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. All right, Tex. <laughs> Anyone?
Oh, wow, I have two choices of guidance. Oh, is that why they both show up? Okay, so you get to choose. Yep. Whether you get the bonus or not. That's good. So it's like I didn't want to have to be able to have to babysit in case my guidance was needed, so that's nice. Whatever you're doing is working wonders! Now I'm quick little pulls. Can I guide you without guiding you? <laughs> do, I, do I have to actively sit here and guide you? I'm just gonna put it on auto guidance. I'm really good at this. I've been doing it for years. Uh, <laughs> I don't need to like pay attention and guide you. Hello. Yeah. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Gale, I think you've met your match. <laughs> no uh -oh. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> 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 In a manner of speaking, you were on the Norse Lloyd as well. <laughs> I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke back tower. Quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side as it were how about you how did you survive the fall hmm i just went all the ships and i landed safely much in jeopardy back on the ship you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region are you not? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? A surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? <laughs> a cap would keep the parasite nice and cozy, but it's but it's hardly my priority. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Oh, I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Perhaps I can join you later instead. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. <laughs> Couldn't help pick that choice. You guys want to take a, a quick, quick break to use the restroom and refill a drink and, and all that? Yeah, I got to empty out. <laughs> That's perfect. That's what I was going to suggest. Uh, a mini break. Mini break. Yep, yeah, works for me. Uh, you can watch All the, right. watch the video again, and we'll be right, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Before we go back in, uh, we'll mm-hmm. head up to the temple. We're in. As soon as you said okay and he said go ahead, I push buttons, man. I, I ain't <laughs> He's pushing the button. I'm pushing the button. In we man. go. In we go. We're launching out. I don't <laughs> care where we go. There's, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Ooh, I see something interesting. A rogue's morsel. All right. More net trap. Oh, cool. Found a net trap. Oh. Oh, look at there. Is that Greg? He did. Found a chapel. Uh, yep. You never seen this one, Silver? Uh, yep. I never. Well, I last time I did it, I think it was with uh, Hugh. So that little secret idea. What's cool. A gimbal. What's a gimbal box? Gimbal uh, box. Tamon. Oh, there are people. Oh, careful. Wait, I'm All right. I can't even see to click on ears. Oh, careful. I'm not in, I'm not in a, uh, I'm not in a oh, conversation. Shit. Oh, shit. Out of sight, out of mind. Yep. Elena? Uh-oh. Ozymandias? Somebody get in a conversation? No, I haven't gotten into a conversation. Okay. I see him, but... I see him. haven't seen anyone but us. It's just wilderness out here. They're not very observant. I'm eavesdropping. Yeah. I think I can On get who? much closer. I'm uh, moving up towards where Hugh is. Where is he at? Circling, circling around to him. Hugh. Oh, oh, he got it. He got spotted. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to take the surprise. Okay. I'm going to jump into combat here, hitting another one. Okay. Nice. And there's going to be one up high, I think, to our left. Yeah, I got the mage. I shot him. So now, um, looks like Druid is item. up. There we go. Yep, pick somebody and shoot them. Oh, shit, I missed it because I was zoomed in. Mm. All right. Can you get there, Hugh? Oh, nice one. Ooh, he took them both out. Busted through the floor. <laughs> One win, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two, actually. There's one up on the upper left hand side. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? We're just going to. And then move in. And I think that's as far as I can go. So we'll end turn here. Is there anybody left? Well, yeah, he's up to the left, up to your left. Up those stairs to your left. Uh, he's left up to the left. <laughs> he left up to the left. See if I, oh, I see him. He's on the crate. Yep. Yeah, yep. he's on the crate. He's way still there. standing on the crate. In the upper leftical. <laughs> upper leftical. <laughs> Oh boy. Critical miss. Let's see. Be on my way. Nice. Ooh. Critical hit. You know what that means. <laughs> I got the critical hit. Yeah, Greg finally's getting criticals. Oh, effect of incoming. Game. Effect incoming on the stream. The critical I'm offended. effect. Is coming in. I'm oh, yes. oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. Let How's this fucking half orc written before me? <laughs> uh, I'm officially offended. 
Oh, wow. Oh, he made it past you guys? Really? I am stunned. You guys are slipping. Did I miss again? Oh, not for long. <laughs> Ooh. Like, where's the, um... Where's the, uh, attack log, or whatever? Is there one? Uh, bottom right, there's a, like, a little notebook on the combat log on the edge of the screen. You click, and then you hit the plus or minus and expand it. All I get is people picking stuff up. Oh, there's some. Chill Touch was renamed to Bone Chill. Yes, isn't that funny? Yeah. And Jump was renamed to uh, something else. <laughs> uh, jump? Oh, the no. Jump? Mm-hmm. Do we have a thief here? Anybody doing thief? I can do... TV stuff. Hang on. Um, who wants this potion of speed since I likely won't use it? Uh, I accept. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know you're a fan of those. All right. So we're handing it over to you. Ooh, half work is hurt. You guys want a short rest? Yeah, go ahead and short rest. Uh, sure. Okay. Y'all down for that? That's logical, yep. yep. Alright. Uh, there better. we go. Uh, I guess I should get up and quit sleeping on the job, eh? It's pretty <laughs> comfortable, though. I'm just saying. Was that a short rest that we just did? Yeah. Yep, that was a short rest. Yeah, it's like instantaneous. Yep. Just like your level up. Like, it takes no, we don't need a campfire. Level up at any time. So we can get in there a couple ways. We can go down this hole and get in there too, you know. Yep. We can also go all the way around if you want. That's true. That's Where are true. we going? If we want to get into this temple, there's like three ways in. Yep. Okay. Tell you what, Rogue, since you haven't done them yet. Jump right down there. You pick. Sure. It. We can do. Yeah, you we pick can do the that way, too. man. What are the three? There's jumping down the hole. Yep. Yep. There's the door. Oh, the door. And then there's a back way around that you haven't seen yet. It's like a uh, like a trap door. Oh, right click on Rogue. He's listening. He's talking. Yeah, I didn't realize there was somebody at the door. Thank you. Got him. Everything all right Thank you. Uh, I killed your friends. No, I'm here for you. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's actually, yeah. Come in here and you can meet him. Oh, he's talking shit. He's like, yeah. yeah he get is. your punk ass on in here. Kill these right. friends. No. I don't have any thieves tools. Oh. I do. Hold on. All right. I do. Uh, I can send them to you. Uh, uh, yep. Done. And a trap disarm kit. Uh, done. Pick them up in our travels. <laughs> oh, this is just a seven. Nice. Easy pick. The trial's like, this is a seven? You humans call these locks? <laughs> right. right. Here we go. We're in. My silver's in. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, yeah, we're on him. Where is he? Refectory. Where the heck is he? Oh, he was talking shit. He hid. He's ready to oh. fight. Down to the left. Yep. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, the door's open. Oh, boy. Look out. 
Can I get him? Oh, I can. Okay, hang on. Let me see if I can AOE these guys. I can. All right. Here we go. I'm about to ice knife them. Ooh. Oh, I can only get two of them, though. Yeah, this is... Uh... Oh, I can. I can get three of them. But I have to really... Okay, here we go. Ready? This is a decent combat right here. <laughs> Ice knife. A lot of saves in there. Yeah, uh, they did. All right. Bingo. And turn. I'm not in combat. Uh, Me either. I'm waiting for him to come out. He freaking killed like he himself. Just, he did him. Yeah, he did himself in. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? He hit the explosive barrel in front of him when shit was on fire. There we go. Come on yeah. in, homie. Uh, Rage, are you a barbarian? No, that wasn't me. Oh, okay. I was like, what in the fuck? You're a barbarian cleric champion? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah. well, how'd that Back happen? Up, bro. Back the fuck up out of here. There we go. Damn it, Jim. Okay. There's no ready action. Yeah, I know. Uh, You're up, man. Yeah. I'm gonna sleep them if I can, because I got a few that are lower hit points. Yeah, we're going in. Got it. Oh, nice. Watch that dude behind oh. him. He's raging. Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, perfect, because they'll slip on that. Yeah, knock the hell out of Torga. All right. Well, I can threaten her. She's got a bow, you know? Yep. Let's see, what can I do here? Uh, oh! Okay, I got them all. Watch this. Oh, nice. You got the barrel. Kill her. <laughs> all right, there you go. There he goes. One down. Oh, solid hit. Ooh! Yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, they're after me. This is cool. This is stupid cool. <laughs> and remember, this is tactician. Yeah. Right? Imagine, yeah. That's right. The Pythian's playing at the tactician level. Y'all need to let Larian know we're going to co op tactician this shit What's up? and it's going to be amazing oh man oh there he is holy balls these guys have a ton of hit points symbiotic entity cool ooh Nasty hit. Oh, he dipped. Did you see that? Dipped yeah, he did. Fire. When I dip, you dip, we dip. <laughs> All right, bro. Did I on to you. Yeah, he did, a, he did a sword technique on you. Ooh. Oh, that was a brutal hit. That was a uh, <clears throat> inflict wounds. Oh, that's why. <laughs> 20 points of damage on that. That was vicious. Yeah, that was vicious. Yeah, my strategy with my clerical spells was to take everything that was touch. Like combat range, right? Inflict wounds, command, oh. pain. Oh. Oh, good idea. Was that potion of speed? Yep. No, hell, I did a bless and a potion of health. Oh, gotcha. All right, how far can I get in a bless. here? Bless. This is gonna help. Dang, this is gonna be tricky. Ah! No, I can't go any further. You guys are blocking the way. Well, that's okay, because I can do one thing. Oh, you're an evoker. <laughs> Yeah, 
Ah, oh, that's nice. That's right. Got all my that's handy. My spells are still fucked. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. That looks so cool. Nice. That just looked cool. Oh, they saved. But they have lower. I lowered their armor class, so. Yeah. Pretty hit. Ow. All right. My turn. Whoa, what a shot was that? Did you see that? It like curved up and over and around. That's quite the shot. <laughs> Written dazed, too. Holy shit. They were blessed. Man. Who blessed us? Uh, he did. did. Nice. Yeah, he did. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh... This guy raging mm. with this club is a pain in the ass. Mm. No. His armor class is lowered. I did use a acid on him. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Uh -oh. oh, you asshole. Did you just oh, he one shot at you. Oh, brother. No, sir. He took him down. No, sir. Oh, one hit point left. What's that? Almost strike. Oh, yeah, you. got oh, him. That's very beautiful. Him. Any, anybody want to throw a potion at you? Down. Yeah, the Jewy can't heal. Well, uh, let's see. If, well, let's see if it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but that's oh, yeah. badass. I'm a paladin and I have a cleric and a druid with me. I don't oh. have any healing oh. spells. Of course, because okay. you're that kind of cleric. I am a cleric of groups. Oh. <laughs> I am a war cleric. <laughs> asshole cleric. <laughs> what the? Oh, no way. It didn't let me throw it. Yeah. All right. So. Well, you know what else you have? Scrolls are revivified. Yeah. <laughs> I got him. When I die. Yeah, we got him. Get this Andorn guy out of the way. See the last one? No, there's uh, one I'm, other one. See if I ever lay hands on this cleric. Oh, I got you. Don't <laughs> worry. I got you. It's just not my turn yet. Did you put him to sleep? Yep. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> She's going to come. Ooh, she missed. Awesome. All right. Um, let me see here. What can I do for my man? We intertwined. I'm going to throw a potion at him. I got one hit point left. Uh, I'm going to come for you, you have in a minute, one hit brother. Point left? I have one hit point left. I have to, uh, I have to second one. They have to kill you twice. <laughs> <laughs> You're a half or. Yeah, I got a second win. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Fighter half win. Oh, beautiful. Now we'll pick you up. All right, Unless that's good. Him, Steve. Oh, I now that I'm only mostly now. dead. Mm -hmm. All right, so. <laughs> throw. And we want to throw a potion at Hugh. Nice. All the right. Only way that you can give a friendly a potion. Yeah, mm. unfortunately. Well. Oh, good, solid hit. Oh, that geez. I'm not certain. Good, solid hit. What's up? What's Twenty that? two. That hit. Must have been. That was brutal. Okay. Oh, there it is. Combat log. Now I got it. <laughs> oh, so all I seem to have are a bonus action. For some reason, but that's all right. We will get up in dude's faces. <laughs> oh, nice off balance. One hit point left. Make your move, sir. Eric has to end turn. All right. Well. I'm just going to do something minor here, like that. 
<laughs> that was a cool fight right there. That was yeah, that was. Swipe in this burning hand scroll. Oh, wow. Victorious. Javelin, and great club, rejoiced. leather gloves. And the people <laughs> rejoice. What? I think I'm going to grab these leather boots because they're cool looking. I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. Yeah, I think we're uh, probably going to be picked up a key. There's a leather armor on this guy if anybody wants it, and a torch. I'm about to be a fan of this half orc. <laughs> it didn't take long. Holy shit. Look at this. Oh, that's a great. That's a great side by side right there. Look at these two. He's all right for a little guy. A half orc. <laughs> Oh, look at the double blades on uh, Silver's back. Double blades yeah. in the hat, dude. Let's kill her. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Freaking amazing. Scale mail. What am I wearing? Scale mail. Uh, anybody want to pick up this uh, barrel of uh, fire there? If anybody's got the strength for it, I don't. Oh no, I didn't readjust my stats. So they're all hosed now. Oh well. Nothing in here really. Yeah, I don't think there is either. If I remember it. Right, well, in there. the good news is if your stats are screwed, you can uh, respect at some point. Yeah, I probably will because uh, looking that over, it's like I don't want an eighth eight strength. Yeah, you I should be able to reach back uh, at some point. Scream. Let's see how we are with language. This text is ancient. Dedication to a forgotten god. This text is ancient. A dedication to a forgotten god? Okay. You do not recognize the language. No, don't recognize. Oh, that's interesting. That's curious. This text is ancient. Oh yeah, this part. That's cool. Okay, I hit the switch. But I, yeah, and I remember what it, that does. Okay, I'm carrying a bunch of books, so. Open that door back there. Yep. Open the door behind us. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We can do I this all blown... night, too. <laughs> <laughs> I have blown uh... all my spells, so if, you, if we want to camp real quick, long rest. Oh, we can do whatever, yeah. Do you need one? Because I it. think you guys need to heal. Let's do a long rest real quick. <clears throat> do that? You want to go to camp for the first time? Let everybody see camp? I'm just going to take us to camp. We can do the long rest when we get there. That works. Oh, it's, I forgot. This is the inside camp. But we'll be able to talk to everybody, right, Non? So everybody that we've met thus far that we've sent to camp, like Gail and uh, Lizelle's in here somewhere. Shadow Hearts over there. So apparently he went to camp, hit map, and hit camp. It didn't take us, but we're on the way. Yeah, uh, I guess. I, yeah, uh, we each have to go to camp. I went to the camp rescue wow. menu and went to camp. Yeah, that's what I had to do. Whoa. Oh, this is our campsite, huh? Inside. Yeah. Wow. This is new. Because 
I oh no. Wow. Okay, see this is new. And there, our chest is in here somewhere too. Yeah. Uh, okay, looking at my chest. Just gotta find it. In here, I think it's through that. Yeah. Over right here. Over there. There's actually different colored chests. Oh, there it is. Oh, one for each, huh? I'll take one of my. No, my that's red. not mine. I'm blue. Oh wow! It says I can't use any of them. There it is. We got we got the items for the early access that are in here too. Yep. Uh huh. So in that oh, you're gonna I have uh some loot of the Merryweather Bard. So who who wants to put up some food for the camp? Break general die. You're gonna have some potions in your adventurer's backpack. And some right. food. Very handy. Oh, thank you. Good. And then you're gonna have some die where you can die stuff. Uh, you can, there is a sorting option, you know, type, latest, weight, value for your inventory. Uh, uh, you, you'll notice like the keychain and the alchemy pouch, like stuff's automatically going to go there, you know, uh, quality of life stuff. Where's my, oh, there it is. Angus said, ah, your chest is flat, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and looking good, silver. I have on a cape. <laughs> Look, now we have uniforms. There now, we go. Just like in Salah. Uh, three of us have on cape. Oh, wait, wait. Four of us have on capes. That quick. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and just like in Divinity, I wear the captain's hat. Where is my? That we all could there it is. wearing it. Oh, cool! You changed the color of the hat. Oh, you dyed your hat. <laughs> nice, freaking cool. There we go. I like that hat better. So that's how we can make the. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Johnny Utah. So, combine with the cave you know what I'm taking mine off the same <laughs> I want to be different it's <laughs> fine I don't want to tell her about my tail. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh. I would have bought that. Dude, we're 277 away from third level. Wow. Oh, yeah. We're going to get it here in, a, in just a very short period of time. All right. Everybody good? I'm good. Good here. It's 1038. Yeah. Let's we'll go. go for at least another hour. Uh, oh, yeah. And I, I'm going to have to call it about 11. I've got a big day tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah, the only thing I got is our uh, Icewind Dale campaign tomorrow. That's it. Yeah, I got to do My some prepping for that tomorrow. child likely be late for if everything goes how I... <clears throat> how late? Uh, I have no idea. It's going to depend on how how well we can get the storage unit unloaded. Okay, can you just keep me posted and so I can let everybody over. else know? Is that way if we push it back, I, I can push the entire thing back. I will do my best. 
I will do my best, but once I'm there, it's very difficult to do anything. Like, I'm very detached from everything. Yeah, I'm in conversation. A minute. Right click on Rick right click on Gail and listen in. Or me, I'm listening. I was actually able to go to the far left to the images and there was a ear next to your character icon. Oh, cool. I'm on a black screen somewhere. Gail hold up. Yeah, something's up. I'm not hearing the conversation, but I'm seeing the conversation. Yeah. I haven't hit anything yet, so I'm just waiting for you guys to get in. Yeah, I'm going to drop right. out of it and then go back into it. There we go. We'll see what happens. Okay. Gail just told me to go to hell, so. All Good right. <laughs> well, I'm going to pick. Is there anything in particular I did to deserve such a greeting? Actually, you know what? And good evening to you too. I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. What's Where'd on you your them? mind, Gail? Where'd you get them fancy jammies, Gail? <laughs> yeah, really. Dragons, blind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. Hmm. Uh, brooding will get us nowhere. Uh, you know, what can I say? We're in deep shit. <laughs> I'm going to pick that one. Point well made. I see. I'll wake you bright and early. We'll need to find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. All right, you ready? We're going to go to bed. Right. Yep. Oh wait! Someone wants to speak with us. Someone else. Should really? Go, okay. Go talk to her. Hey, babe. All right. You strike me as the reliable sort. She said, "You strike me as the reliable sort." Are you sort. sure this is a good idea? Are you sure this is a good idea? So I'll wait. You guys, just let me know when you're in. What is she wearing? <laughs> All right. Here we go. There are lit fuses in our heads. Sooner or later, they're going to blow. Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. We'll need our strength. Now we can go to bed. Now we can rest. <laughs> All right. Hugh, you want to do the camp supply thing? You're the best at it. You have the option to? Oh, it tells me another player is currently okay. choosing camp supplies. I will get it. I will get it. All right. I'm going to nail it 40 right on the money, right? Um, yep. So... Do that, and should be plenty of options. I think we've all got cooked food, like pies yeah, and stuff. Up the shit done. Oh, there we go. Just don't hit auto select. Right. Rest feels impossible. Well, now you notice it's changed to eighty. I got a. Oh. I got a cutscene going. Whoa! Flicker shut. Holy shit! To twitch behind them, dragons. Private dialogue. Hells themselves have come after you. Yet it is this creature that lingers in your skull. A 
Wow. Wow. How much? Ooh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. I rolled a one. <laughs> Dude. Critical failure. If you focus on that spot of pain from when it slipped behind your I, eye to where I had a negative one and I needed a five and I rolled a five. But you can make it clear that you are watching. What is there to fear? When it is the one stuck I can't inside. believe I rolled a one. It is a minor victory, but enough mm. to soothe you to sleep. Deep, dreamful sleep and can't. Oh, okay. I noticed private dialogue was checked for some reason. All of you guys, yeah, because we're all experiencing something different. Mm hmm. You guys are all still asleep. Are you guys yeah. awake now? It was cool. Yes. I am. That was cool. Holy cow. I can't believe I rolled a critical failure on that. Dude, I had to Ooh. roll a five. I used guidance. I rolled a four and got a two and passed with a six. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Low ball this all. I didn't have to roll anything. You can leave camp. Yep, we're good. Probably gonna have to all do it yourselves. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Oh. All right, we're back. I think that's stealthing out. Slipped. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Going through. All right. This is such a cool area. This place yeah, this part. For the living. It's the dank crypt, baby. Dank crypt. This crypt is dank. That's right. <laughs> did it? Did did did, 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 did dank? Uh, uh, killed chest. Oh yeah. Oh what? Oh, you guys went there instead, huh? Okay, that's cool. Let's see if we can actually detect these traps, because that's not easy. <laughs> There's one right in front of me. Oh, you, oh, you detected it. Yep. Who's the uh, right. disarmer? Certainly isn't me. Oh, yeah, we got to put oh, something over it. Oh, traps! Yep. <laughs> we got to put something over it. Oh, nice. The druid's the, uh, the trap disarmor. Be wary. It's trapped. Oh, you failed oh. one. Careful. Walking around Careful. the room. Careful. There's a trap. Oh, I'm staying away from y'all. Y'all are dangerous with traps. is a mystery to you. Did you guys already undo those traps? Yeah, Not I, yet. I can't undo traps. But you can move one of those faces over the top of them. Oh, or disarm it. That works too. I, think, I don't know if I trust the Ozymandias near that button. Yeah, really. What? I hit the button. It didn't do anything. These guys over here, too, I think. Watch how you go. Yep. Oh. Button over there. There's a trap. There's, There's traps in here. everywhere in here. Yeah, dude, it's yep. crazy. Like, I'm very glad that you're able to disarm them. Yeah, on second thought, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Thank my life on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I see all these traps. Y'all can have this. I'm good. Watch how you go. Trap. Found two more. Holy shit. One on either side of me. Where are these? 
There are ones in front of me on the wall. It looks like a dragon, a gargoyle head. And the other one's behind me on the floor. It's a disc. Gotcha. Oh, and then you saw another gargoyle head. Crazy. Nice. Yeah, really. I'm impressed you've been able to get all those. So far, so good. Me and you are back here going, you know what? We know what happens if you fail. <laughs> No, I mean, I went in there looking around, but uh, once they hit like seven, eight traps, I was like, I'm going to get the fuck out of yep. here. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> no sense of me being in there right now. There's one over here. I uh, can't reach that destination. Morana. Right beside me on the floor. You have to whisper. There's traps. Oh, Marana, there's traps on the floor over here. That's a good point. Bam. I'm gonna put on my orc voice next time, too. <laughs> Alright. Door looks Is that locked. all the traps? Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> guidance on you? Will that help? I did put guidance on me. Okay. I missed by one. All of that to miss by one. You can bash it down, right? Like Cyberpunk. You got body 10. Anybody want some ring mail armor? Zero damage. Can't believe that's heavy armor. A war pike, huh? Wonder. Second. Let's see if I got lock picks. Uh, my dexterity might be here. What's my sleight of hand? I have a plus zero. What was the DC on it? 15. 15? Mm -hmm. Alright, can try. I mean, better than nothing. And you can choose guidance, right? Yep. <laughs> Cross fingers. <laughs> no luck. I am not getting us in this door. Next. <coughs> Step carefully. There's a trap. All right, I've got. Uh, all right, trap. Be cautious. <laughs> uh oh, what is this? Whoa! Uh oh. Oh, okay, that's you. <laughs> oh, were you gonna like? Oh, go I was small? gonna try to go up there. Well, no, I wanted to go up to the top where there's the ledge, but it, that's not an area. Apparently. Oh, I got gotcha. you. You get one of you guys want to try to pick this lot? Um, I'm thinking probably not necessary. You imagine I'm a rogue? What? You would have me perform thievery? <laughs> Perhaps we need to open that door. Never mind. Whoa, this looks really, really good. <laughs> I found a scroll for you, buddy. This guy has cool. a uh, scroll of burning hands. 
Oh, I'll take it. Yep, it's on his body. Oh, cool. Uh, grabbing it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I am definitely going to have to reset my stats. Oh, you're down over there, huh? And a button, guys. Yep, look out. <laughs> That's bad. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Rise. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. My friends. Yeah, I'm like spinning. standing next to one. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Man. Okay, well. Uh, they're back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're right on top of us. One down. Oh, are we all shared initiative? Yeah, we're all shared initiative. Two down. Look at that. Uh, where's my offhand? Oh, wow. No, even? Yes, I can. <laughs> I did one and two damage on this guy. <laughs> and I did none. Oh, fog cloud. Oh, there you go. All Get right. Him. Get him. Oh, nice. Oh, Ooh. double strike. Boy, they're throwing a lot of fog clouds. That was cool, the uh, two-handed attack of opportunity. Yeah, that was. I didn't expect the double that. double strike, yeah. Oh, boy. You guys are... Well, let's see. How much does this guy have left? He only got four left. I don't know if I want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh... The... The multi initiative or the shared initiative is cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Andy. Good kill. All good right. kill. Look at that, dude. Made handy work of them. Yeah, really did. Oh. Well, that's, she's got the baddest one there. Yeah, that's the nasty one. Oh, God, this is cool. All right. Ending my turn. Dang. Oh, jeez. Rogue's almost dead. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> we got her. Right. Yep, we do. Spellcasting looks cool as shit. Yeah. Dude, it's beautiful. It is. I mean... Like, it is exceptionally beautiful. Oh, cool. What the fuck? <laughs> That's right. A cat? <laughs> Don't be looking at my <laughs> pussy. <laughs> So freaking cool, dude. You better not look at my pussy. Let's see. Keep going. <laughs> dude, that was cool as hell. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is awesome. <laughs> I didn't think Rogus could end up initiating that yeah. combat out of nowhere. So, does it feel like a druid? It looks like it feels like a druid. It, it definitely feels like a druid. It's. And I, I haven't even begun playing with stuff yet. That is... The inscription is a language unknown to you. Let's see. I've never seen this language before. Who was worshipped here? Oh, I can't read it either. Yeah, I couldn't. I failed. Hey, what so, am I uh... Where you push that button, you should go back in there. Since you yeah, that's back over here. The sarcophagus. Yeah, it's way over here. Am 
No, I broke it, guys. Oh. <laughs> dad? It is you, Dad. <laughs> So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. That as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? A European mortal or an African mortal? Oh, that doesn't translate well. <laughs> Trip, yeah, it didn't Trip, work, man. Trip had the best answer for this I've ever heard. Do you know how many times we're going to be able to play this game? <laughs> Not enough. I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? Tell us what you're answering. And make sure you scroll down. There, there may be more choices than six. Oh, gotcha. Keep going. Uh, no, it's only got six. Okay, because there will be. I've seen up to eight or nine choices. Yeah, gotcha. for the right, you can uh, see the scroll down bar. So there is a scroll down bar on this. At this particular junction, perhaps that is not so far from the truth. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will Won't you see forget each it. other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Well, I mean, I would say I know your face, but I mean, you know. Oh, good. I was about to be mad because he took my cattle. <laughs> Freaking, that was cool. Where are you huh? going? He took you off the pedestal. Does he look? He looks like he's constipated. He might, he <laughs> might be mildly constipated. He he might be. I, I've got some moisturizer that I thought he might be interested in. Uh, but his magic is strong because when he conversed with you, you look like you, and we just see a cat, and that's pretty epic. Uh, hey, I've hey. got some arrows here. An arrow of transposition and an arrow of undead slang. Does anybody want those? I have a crossbow. I can't use the bow. I'm going to save the uh, game. Oh, no, 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 no. Arrows are ammunition that can be used in either crossbows or bows in this. Oh, okay. Did we, uh, did we get a level or no? I don't know if there was any experience associated. Doesn't look like it. I am showing that I am level two and I need uh, 197. <clears throat> yep, I need about the same. Uh, 197. Yep, that's what I need as well. Uh, I saved it, Jose. If this is where you want to hold it. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. This is uh. So let's, I need to get some shit out. Let's pick up from this room. Let's all come back into this room and let's pick it up from this room on Sunday. Okay, that works. That way we kind of keep a little continuity rolling here. Let me just save it one more time just to make sure. <laughs> what? Did you do oh my god! No, he sure he fucked him up. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Target cannot be an, an inanimate entity. Wait, what? 
Come on. <laughs> you fucked him up. I was goofing around. Come on. Oh, you killed him. You really No, I'm trying to lay him. on hands. I'm trying You can't. Uh, He's dead. Shut you up. one shot at him. Okay, okay, hold yeah. on. Sorry, I, I fell to a lethal blow. I got it. I got it saved. Right. I got it saved. Uh, that, so. That's good. <laughs> you but, hey, fucked him up. Uh, non, Angus. I hope you enjoyed the. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope anybody that was there. I didn't pay much attention to who was there today, but I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you. Uh, Hey, I know Angus said no level game punks. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, we made it to level <laughs> two, and we're almost at level three. And uh, I look forward to level three. Level three is gonna be cool. But, yeah, it's um, gonna be cool. If I'm honest with you, I think I, I am with Rogue. I'm a little tired, but I am probably gonna go lay into bed and play some of my single player on my Steam Deck. Yep, just rubbing that mm. in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But, uh, hell yeah. So, uh, for some reason, the voting thing broke. Not anything we did, but it broke early on. Huh. So that's a, that's a Larian Twitch thing. So, you know, I don't know. Hopefully that gets fixed. Um, I hope you guys can find that effects panel because I had fun with it. Uh, I really like the fireworks. <laughs> the effects panel. Yeah, I put an effects panel in our uh, Twitch channel that um, viewers can use. And like uh, one does, uh, I called one critical hit and it shoots off like these green fireworks. I call one um, Be Cautious Pythians and it kind of puts red embers across the screen. So I tried to tie it to, you know, an RPG game, I guess. Right. Gotcha. Uh, okay. One is These Pits Are On Fire. And uh, it kind of lights the bottom of the screen up with flame. So, you know, there's about five of them. But anyway, we'll get it all nailed down. Awesome. 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 But, uh, but yeah, so, all right. So we'll be back Sunday. We're going to pick up right here in this room. Uh, this has been awesome. It was great. It was a slow start, too. And we still made hella progress, right? Like, we were like, oh, we'll make it off the noddle. Surprisingly. Yeah, look where we're yeah, at. No doubt. All right. <laughs> and and on the hard level right the tactician mode mm. so all right i'm greg we got q jose silver quick we're tales from the pythian this has been the first episode of Baldur's gate 3 and uh man there's probably hundreds more to come so we will check you all on sunday have a good night that's right like have comment. a good night guys subscribe that's right <laughs> peace out fellas